Visa Star Cross. Visa Star Cross. 28 months of Joel. Never punished. Happy Meme Monday Farfa. Hi. Mm. Hi, good morning. Uh good in the tag, etc. etc. Hello everyone. Uh long weekend. A long long weekend. Visa much to get over, so much to talk about, much to discuss. A huge array of topics. And of course, uh <laughs> I did begin. I did begin the uh the what's it called? Uh, the One Piece journey. One Piece mentioned. Yeah, I did. I did start it. I did begin it, and uh, I guess I uh, I'll talk a little bit about that in just a moment. So uh, we have uh, we have started it. Uh, yeah, no, there's there's a lot to unpack Is here. There's a all? lot to unpack here. Fatful, I dismantled blue eyes to build full power tier. But more importantly, have you ever tried lamingtons? I don't know what that is. What's a lamington? Thank you so much, Kaiba. I appreciate you. Um, but I don't know what that is. Thank you. Uh, no, watch a good anime instead. Wow, that's uh, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. What the hell? Anyway, uh, big shout outs and thank you uh, to Damien Cross. Thank you for the brand new subscription. Thank you, Damien Cross. Uh, Fat Man, thank you for the 28 months. Never punished. Happy Me Monday. Thank you. Thank you. That's meme review as well. Yeah, lots of things to uh, go over, actually. What are we doing? Meme review. Uh, OCG ban list. Um, it's not a, it's not a blind reaction, sadly, sadly. Um, it was, uh, was it dropped on, like, Saturday, or was it yesterday? Um, you know, we've got some thoughts and stuff to talk about, uh, on that, so don't worry, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at what exactly is going on over there with, you know. Visa what can I say, man? It's, 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 it's the third Far copy of the SP that really, really gets you, you know. Uh, I'm special. Thank you for the brand new subscription. Thank you, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. And a returning from uh, Kekaroni. Thank you for the 11 months as well. Farfa Nug. What is that? Is that the uh, Nugget emote? <gasps> nuggies! Oh, man. I haven't had Nuggies in a while, dude. I'm so upset. Do you still plan to sell your pearly cards? I mean, yes, if anyone wants them. That's a big ask, though. That's a big ask, though. Does anyone want them? <laughs> yes, I, I would love to get rid of my pearly cards. <laughs> Lamington is a Wikipedia thing here. An Australian cake made from squares of butter cake or sponge cake. This looks so familiar. I feel like we have something very similar to this in the UK. A Lamington. Uh, this looks like one of those uh, snowball cakes that we have over here. I think Snowball Cake UK. Something like that. We've got these. Uh, they Yeah, they kind of they kind of look like this. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's probably different, though. Um, it actually does look kind of different, uh, but you know, oh yeah, definitely a whole other interior. Um, internally, but you know what I'm saying. You know, you know how it is. Uh, One Piece is bad. Jesus the plot armor is even worse and more obvious than Batman. Okay, all right, relax, dude. Holy crap, this doesn't need to turn into a debate, dude. I'm two episodes in and people are like, this is bad. You shouldn't watch it. You should go do something else. You don't want It's terrible. Okay, relax, dude. Holy, dude, my God, bro. Um, I just have two episodes in here. Hello? Uh, v. Frankie. Uh, hello, sir. Thank you. Back. Welcome back for 33 months. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who's here, chat? Um, who's here? Uh, we are, uh, been here for five minutes. I'll give you your good mornings. Uh, Boom Shiko. Good morning, sir. Outer Limits. Uh, hello, sir. Good morning. Zukram. Good morning. Charmander. Good morning. Uh, Nut. Faith. Cemento. Edge. Honeybee. Hyper Whale. Uh, Bricky. Half Cast. Zeno, Kraz Taco, Brainless. Uh, good morning. And shout out to ba Ban Maxi over here as well. Hello, Ban Maxi. Um, who would win? Luffy or you say? Uh, it says, says the funny rubber man. Okay, all right. Let's uh, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about this first and foremost, I suppose, now that we're uh, beginning today. Okay, so. Um, why did I decide to do this? I don't know, actually. I, I generally have no clue. Uh, I guess I just kind of... Can't wait for you to get to the part where Luffy reads the capital. Uh, reads Das Kapital. No spoilers, by the way, please, chat. Genuinely, please, no spoilers. Um, because I, I actually do think it's kind of interesting, and I kind of want to keep watching. But anyway, uh, why did I, why did I decide to get, to start watching One Piece in the first place? Um, uh, well, yeah, number one, I guess, partly for the meme. <laughs> um, and second, I guess, like, uh, I like to watch, like, an episode or two of something, um, while I eat dinner, uh, most nights. 
And over the last, like, few weeks, I've just been finding there's just been, like, nothing good, like, on Netflix and, like, stuff like that. Like, just recent, like, media has, there's just not been anything good. So I figured, like, okay, you know what? Um, I'm part of, like, a very, very specific niche fandom of Yu-Gi-Oh! and anime and stuff like that. And um, there's definitely a, a huge portion of people who love it. As well, as there's, there's a, a card game. So maybe in There's a World, if I ever try, like, the One Piece card game, maybe it might, might be kind of cool to, like, actually play based off of, like, the uh, the franchise and the, the things that you like and appeal uh, that, are, that are appealing to you from the anime, you know? Because I think that's, like, probably one of the coolest things about Yu-Gi-Oh! that I've noticed, if I ever go back and watch, like, a, a, a certain episode or something like that, suddenly I'm just like, wait, yo, there's, like, I have to play heroes. I have to play some photons. And then you so actually try it in the card game and it's terrible and unplayable. But that's not the point, right? Do you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I figured, I guess, like, listen, on the plus side, there's a thousand plus episodes. So, you know, I got plenty to do and plenty to watch. Um, I, I ideally don't want to engulf myself so much so to the point where I'm sitting there uh, procrastinating, putting off responsibilities, uh, all that kind of stuff um, for, uh, for trying to power through a thousand episodes within the space of like two weeks or something. Uh, so I started watching this morning and I had like the number one big decision, the number one uh, fork in the road that I had to come to was, do I watch the sub or the dub? And let me tell you, this morning, well, I just went and watched both, actually. <laughs> I just, I watched both of them. Um, <laughs> so, I, uh, I don't know how bad it gets or what, you know, what the, uh, what, what the differences really are too much. Um, so what I did was I watched the first episode in the dub, and I watched the second episode in the sub. Uh, the first episode in the sub, so I watched them back to back. And one thing I noticed about the sub is, I don't know if the sub is more, maybe it's just specifically the subtitles that I'm watching specifically aren't perfect, but you start to notice that there was some, like, sort of, like, colloquials and, like, slang that was used that I remembered from episode one in the dub that the sub, that subtitles just didn't really work. It didn't make sense. But that's maybe because they were originally in Japanese and then they were transferred into this weird, like, colloquial and slang in English and then translated back into the subtitles. So it sounds like basically I'm, 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 what I'm trying to understand is I'm reading Jesus something that's been essentially translated God. like twice. Is far from uh, I'm reading four kids uh, a Japanese like censorship. term that Jesus got localized into English God. and then translated back to English. So it's probably quite bad, like the subtitles themselves. Um, so that was like an interesting phenomenon. One thing as well, uh, the performance of like the actual voice acting is usually what the uh, biggest turnoff from watching dub is. Like if you ever watch like, you know, GX is like comically bad, like comically bad. Um, like it's a terrible dub. Like GX is a whole different show when you watch it in sub, right? Um, but like one of the biggest turnoffs is like just how terrible, like genuinely just bad the performances are. So like some people say like GX is like ironically bad and stuff like, no, it's GX is just bad, bad. Like I just, I don't think it's good. I think it's bad, bad. Um, <laughs> so I, I don't enjoy the GX dub. Uh, so I figured like, okay, well how bad is the Jesus dub in English for One Piece? So Golden I watched Pepper. it and I was like thinking, this is like kind of fine. It's remember this in the context of like 1999, like it, it was fine. Um, also, they've got freaking. I assume, I think it's Chris Sabat, who's uh, Roma Rara Rara Ra, 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 Zoro, that character. He's like, he's Vegeta, right? So that was like great because that was very, uh, what's the word? Um, I, that was a pleasant surprise because he's a great uh, voice actor, you know? Um, so that, that, you know, I didn't really have any, uh, any issues and like painstakingly like knife being dr knives being dragged into my ears. Um, uh, situations. Chris Sabat in a Funimation production. Ain't no way. Well, you say ain't no way as if, like, I'm supposed to know that. I don't know this. Like, this is this is an anime from 25 years ago. I don't know what the production companies and technicalities and the contracts are. I don't care. I'm just trying to watch a fun anime, okay? Uh, so I don't know the details. But anyway, um, so after watching the sub, I was like, okay, in terms of the actual performances, I didn't think it was that good. Like, usually when you watch, like, the sub, like, for example, there was parts of, like, Zexel, for example, I remember watching in Yu-Gi-Oh!, where we watched, like, a couple of the episodes in Japanese, and it was just, like, blows the English out of water. 
blows it out of the water. Phenomenal performances. Like, just the most unbelievable voice acting. Just so good. And it just, it makes the show different, you know? Um, it's just, it's so different. Like, it's a different TV show completely when you watch sub compared to dub. And, like, for example, those things that I just mentioned. But I felt like watching episode uh, one in sub, it didn't really feel like it was that crazy of a performance compared to the dub. So I figured, well, just for the ease of access and just the ease of watching something, I think I'm probably just going to keep continuing uh, watching this in dub. Uh, maybe I'll, you know, at the end of the journey in like a year or something, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll watch the uh, sub in, uh, for one pace or something like that. Um, but I think for my type of audience, uh, I think like dub is probably like fine. I don't think it's going to be a big issue. And I assume like the quality only gets better and better anyway uh, as the uh, arcs and stuff gross. and the seasons progress. Uh, okay, I'm getting a bunch of subs and resubs. Right, Let me say big thank you to everyone. Uh, big shout outs to HVCG. Thank you for the 34 months. Can we forget to the bar where uh, uh, Luffy reads the capital? Uh, Freddy Samoria, thanks so much for the 25 months. Ashen 179 freaking months. That's insane. Thank you so much. Is Farfa aware of the four kids dub and the infamous censorship? Uh, I am, yes. Is, is, um, isn't One Piece Funimation rather than four kids? Isn't like a, isn't a different production company? I don't know, genuinely. Uh, Selza, thank you for the 66 months. Appreciate it. Terry, thank you so much for the 23 months as well. Brainless J, thank you so much for the 14 months as well. Thank you, thank you. Wait, do we have a Golden Kappa train? Jesus oh, Golden so Kappa train! Gross. Okay, chat, you need to subscribe. Morning Wait, how do we get it? Wait, how, how does it work? Wait, ka Kappa? Wait, how, do you, how does it work? There's hype. Thank you, thank you for subbing. Thank you for subbing. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Uh, but I don't know what... The, how, do you, how do you get it gold? How do you get it gold? You need to gift or cheer? Okay, can someone gift a sub and then type Kappa and then tell me if it works? XDD Shrug. <laughs> oh, it's after the train? Okay, but we need to hit like uh, a Nerd. specific goal, Kappa. don't you? Sub gift to use to get to that or something like that? What the hell is that? Is that a Golge Pepe? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, bits as well. Back to the lab again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get our, uh, let's get our golden cow. Stop sending me this. Stop sending me. Stop it. Stop sending me this. Anyway. So anyway, um, I was, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna flat out say to myself, listen, I'm gonna watch like a couple of episodes. Jesus Yo, Batman, so thank you so much for the, uh, gifty. Thank you. Thank you. I was gonna say, uh, say to myself, um, if I, if Jesus I'm like in a situation so where, well, okay, okay. All right. Can we get this hyper? popped off first before you can uh, let me speak here v95 thank you so much habibi uh appreciate it thank you thank you for the five gifties oh seven to you my friend Jesus thank you thank you so five gross. gifties for risen for now as well thank you thank you so much chat very much appreciate it thank you thank you so much um big shout outs to you all for your kindness thank you um Jesus we got a gifty as so well from gross. father Edo. thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you interesting choice of uh gifted sub there <laughs> I love gay femboys. Uh, you see, you thought we wouldn't pick up on you saying this in the chat in the middle of the spam Jesus here, didn't you? But we got you, Recon, dude. It's Unlock okay. The block. If that's if that's what that's okay. You you do what you got to do, okay? Jesus um, so thank you for all the gifties, everyone. I can't keep up right now. Uh, Kelts, so unlock the block. Gross. That's what I'm saying. By the way, 5 p.m. today is the potential ban list hot zone, as always. I hope it's not going to be on a Tuesday, because I the only day of the week that I don't want to stream, I have to, like, I force myself, medically, whatever you want to call it, to not stream on Tuesdays, uh, just because I need to take, like, a mandatory break. Otherwise, I will just, knowing myself, I'll stream seven days a week if I if I could, you know? So I don't, I don't want to... It's important that I take some kind of a break here. So hopefully not tomorrow, but 5 p.m., you know? It's crazy. This one is not getting dropped until the summer. <laughs> Nerd. Peeps, you are so my wrong. Birthday, like, you are so incorrect. Like, birthday, I, have, I cannot birthday, tell you man. how incorrect and wrong you are. That, that is not happening. We are getting some. It, it's not going to be a good one. I already posted this on my YouTube channel if you guys want to watch. But it's not going to be a good um, uh, a good ban list. This, this one coming up for the TCG, which, by the way, note already, look at the OCG ban list that we're going to cover in just a moment. It's not going to be good, you know. So don't don't be shocked and surprised. But it will be um, it will be uh, it will be what's it called um, uh, 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 exist. It'll exist. That's that's something. Does anyone have the voiceless voice list from the last round of the UK Open? Uh, Luke Tyler is uh on Twitter. So maybe if you're nice enough, you can at him. He might post it. Um, 
I guess I, I, I don't, I don't want to say anything because technically I had access to his deck list because I was commentating, so I won't leak for uh, privacy reasons, etc. But it was very, uh, it wasn't very standard, which, so it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure you can probably like ask him yourself on Twitter or something. Um, what ban list? We got one in January 1st. Earliest we get one is late April. Uh, yeah, exactly. And we've just These had our OCG so ban list released gross. yesterday. As well as the fact that, um, well, you know, they have to, like, sh reveal the ban list. And then, then it's effective from two weeks later or something. So it's probably going to be, like, potentially this week. Maybe next week. Well, you never know. The copium begins today. That's the point. Uh, I'll be your. Thank you for the 56 months. I appreciate it. Dr. Stupid. Thank you for the bits. Farfa, today's my birthday. Please wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Tom Paul, thank you for six months as well. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And everyone as well who gifted subs. My notifications are broken. They don't show gifties very well, but thank you. Rainbow Drin, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, um, thank you for the level five hype train as well. There's two minutes, 20 seconds. We're only on 21%, just saying. Uh, golden Kappas for everyone in just a moment, okay? All right, so anyway, as I was saying, man, you know what's funny when it comes to, like, these crazy big franchises, like One Piece, for example? You say, like, one thing, and then everyone piles on to give the opinion, the take, and stuff like that. Like, I, I posted on the disc in my Discord j this morning, which you should all join Discord.g forward slash far. The first response I get is, my, I would recommend that you watch the live action first, or something like that. And I was just like, well, how about I just keep watching the thing that I'm liking? Like, I'm not going to be one of those people who, like... Bro, listen, when you get to, like, episode 700, it's, like, really good, okay? You just need to, you just need to power Jesus through, like, six so different gross. seasons, three different movies, and, like, seven different production companies. And trust me, One Piece gets really good. Like, I wasn't going to do that. I pro I set out and told myself, listen, I'm going to watch, like, literally two episodes. If I don't like it, if I think it's actually insufferable, I'm going to put it down and I'm not going to keep watching. Um, And I think I like it. I think I genuinely like it. It's It's good enough... Where it isn't like so, I don't know what it is, right? Because I tried to watch um, Demon Hunter, Demon Slayer, like a couple months ago, and I couldn't get into it. And I don't know if it's just because of just how painfully, like, just edgy it tries to be, right? Like, it's it's so just it tries so hard to be edgy, and I just I just found myself like kind of cringing. Um, but like with One Piece, it's like it's it's very much kind of slice of life, you know. It's like it's it's kind of like realistic. Well, not like realistic is the word for it, but it's very just kind of down to earth in some ways, you know. It doesn't take itself super seriously. Um, but it's uh it's been kind of it's been kind of nice, I suppose. Um, I'm hoping there's some like very serious points as well, and some joke, you know, like I do a little bit of edginess is fine, right? A little bit of like super serious like edginess is like obviously great, you know. Um, but a little bit uh, of, you know, if that's the entire premise of the show is just like, you know, how my experience was watching Demon Slayer. It's just like, yeah, this is just like emotionally exhausting sitting here watching this. So I don't know. No spoilers, please, chat. Thank you. No spoilers. Um, the pacing gets kind of, well, I figured that, well, Vlad told me that basically there's chapters in the manga that are literally 10 minutes of content that they ended up like stretching for entire multiple episodes over the course of when it was being released over the last years. So I, I am going to assume that there will be a, a bunch of places or a bunch of parts of watching this that are going to be, be a little bit stretched out. Spoilers for a 30-year-old show. Didn't you say it's fine to spoil One Piece? Um, no, I didn't. I don't, I don't know if that's really... A, that, that, that's very much different. I'm not jumping into that thing. Shut up. That's weird. Uh, we're not revisiting that. Anyway, um, that's because they caught up with the manga. Some parts are really bad for pacing. Well, hopefully they're uh, at least enjoyable enough because uh, I don't... People say, like, filler is bad and stuff like that. People always give that take, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't mind filler if it's good. The best example I give of this for anyone who's watched Dragon Ball, um, the Garlic Jr. arc, which was filler in... Was it Z? Or was it... Super? No, it wasn't Super... Uh, was it even Dragon Ball? Maybe it was in between. Um, yeah, the Garlic Jr. arc in Dragon Ball was really good. It's one of my favorite, like, low-key uh, favorite parts of Dragon Ball. I thought it was really, really good. And it was it's filler. It's completely, like, filler. Like, people say, like, oh, yeah, when you watch Dragon Ball, you should, like, skip these evidence. I thought it was, I thought it was so good. I thought it was great, you know? The Gohan training arc filler made me fall asleep. The Gohan training arc was really good when I was a kid. Um... I think, like, that's it's very much, like, relatable to, like, a child who is watching another child, like, grow and uh, come into their own. I think I remember watching that younger, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. 
Um, but watching it now, it's like, I mean, yeah, I guess there isn't really much to see it. Just, you know, you're watching basically Piccolo learn how to be a parent, which in some ways it gives you a whole different perspective when you rewatch it now. You know, I'm just saying. One Piece filler is worth skipping, to be honest. <sighs> how about I just, how about I just watch the thing that I like? How about, how about we just keep watching the thing that I like? People are just too now pill. They want to consume immediately and catch up as fast as possible. Just enjoy the journey. There is a finite amount of uh, One Piece content, so why limit it? This is exactly it, right? It's like I'm not trying to rush this. This, what's the purpose? What, what is the benefit? If I go and speed through this and try and consume, like, you know, how many episodes could you realistically watch in a day? Like twenty? What is that? Like that's that's uh no no way more than that. Um, you could probably do, like, about three episodes per hour with, like, you know, 18 hours of watching time. You could probably watch, like, 50 episodes a day, maybe, if, you know, you use, like, 1.25 speeds or something. I'm not trying to do that. I don't want to. That sounds terrible. I, I, I don't want to hate it. I feel like if you do something like that by the end of, like, week one or something, you actually just hate your life. Um, and as someone said, yeah, it's literally a finite amount of content. It's one of the best pieces of uh, media ever made in the world, apparently. So, like, you know, I might as well just keep, uh, might, I might as well enjoy it with, uh, with where I'm at right now. More than five, you lose your sanity. Well, listen, uh, so far, I'm going to keep it nice and calm. I'm probably going to watch, like, I want to say, like, I'm going to try to limit myself to, like, maybe, like, three episodes per day max. Maybe I'll watch one in the morning, one, at, one, one or two in the evening, you know, and then, uh, then we'll see how it is. Currently, I'm at the part where Roma Rama Rara Zoro is being broken out of the uh, Marine Courtyard by uh, Monkey M Monkey D Luffy and Kobe. I already like the dynamic between these two characters. It's great. I've been enjoying it. I've been I've been I've been enjoying it. But without uh, trying to risk getting some spoilers here, let's uh, let's move on here. Um, let's uh, let's move on. Stop sending me this. Okay. Anyway. All right. So. Lots of content to get through today, but uh, we've got the UK Open. The United Kingdom Open was this weekend. Uh, if you checked out the uh, official Konami stream, then you might have noticed that someone was on there casting. I don't know who, some weird-looking bozo. Um, but that was, uh, that was uh, a fun little uh, weekend we had there. It was nine rounds of Swiss, because it's a regional, no top cut. And the craziest thing ever happened. You should go back on the on like the Konami YouTube channel and watch it by the way because of how absurd it is. World Chalice made top cut. <laughs> this is why Americans always making fun of our uh making fun of our country and of our region. But World Chalice got top 8. It was ridiculous. It was like you set up like the right of Aramacia for your negate to like start playing the game and then you tribute someone the World Chalice over the Emduck. You get your uh, Apoloza in the EMZ co-link to a firewall. And I don't even remember what's on the side of it. I can't even remember. But, like, yeah, he played that really well. It was good to watch. And my man took it all the way to top eight, dude. It was crazy. World freaking chalice. Maybe there'll be a deck profile or something at some point. Was Jesse there? Uh, yeah, Jesse was at the United Kingdom Open. Yeah, he, Jesse came all the way from Canada to go to a, a, a Welsh regional. Um, so he, uh, he unfortunately scrubbed out. He didn't, he didn't do too well. Oh, did he win, actually? Oh, yeah, I, 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 mix, I must have got it mixed up. Sorry, yeah, Jesse actually won. Um, but anyway, uh, Luke Tyler was there. He's doing the World's Race uh, alongside freaking Gabe Nets, who also uh, uh, was present, attending the, uh, attending the regional in, the, in Wales, by the way. So already, like, you know, troll despair. You have to go to, like, Britain to, like, take part in these things and get World's Points. And then from there... They take the uh, they take a bus back into England, Monka W, to go to uh, London Heathrow to then fly to West Germany to attend the German Open the following day, which was yesterday. Uh, the UK one was Saturday, uh, in order to get multiple world's points. So Luke ended ninth at the UK Open, and then I think got top eight, uh, seven one, um. Yep, top eight. All right, seven, so top eight, ninth place at the UK one, and then top eight at the German one, just to get a bunch of world's points to try and defeat the French, because the French have the biggest regionals and all of the great, um, you know, points that are being allocated this season. Of course, uh, you know, you got to go to uh, that country to accumulate as much as possible. There was one interesting thing that happened on stream that I th figured I'd mention here. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's strange, but it's the old... Uh, Main phase Juan into battle phase 
Uh, so I think uh, what Luke tried to do here was he had big old uh, fat mirror jade um, over here. I don't know what a mirror jade actually looks like. Kind of looks like a bunny. All right, this is this is mirror jade, the Chungus dragon, and uh, I can't remember what else he had on the field here. And then the opponent had a uh, snake eye uh, papa. This is this is this is what a poplar looks like. Okay, in my mind, do not at me. Woo, papa. And also had a uh, link karibo. Which was, uh, I don't know why I'm making them furries. Why am I making these furries? I don't know. Streamer man, I am sick, Sag help. Uh, you'll get better, Spark man, don't worry, you'll get better. Alright, so, uh, basically, uh, he goes main phase one. Um, before the, before the end of the main phase, uh, the other player resolves Poplar to scale a monster and then tribute for the Link Karibo, tribute with the Link Karibo to bring back, uh, against the Poplar. To bring itself onto the field. And then the Poplar on the new chain activates itself in the graveyard. And then scales itself in the spell and trap zone. All of that happened within like... Maybe five seconds after time was called. So the argument is... Uh, well, would player one here... With, mirror, with, I, with Ice Blade, the Mirror Jade, Chungus Dragon... Be allowed to enter the battle phase. Um, and, you know, potentially just win the game off of the back of that. Uh, the question is really, uh, is, is, is time called at a point where, so the way they word it is that, has there been enough of an impact on the game to prevent player one from entering the battle phase? If player two resolves Link Karibo, tributes for cost, brings back Link Karibo onto the field, and then Poplar in the graveyard activates to scale a card, is that enough of a meaningful amount of actions and plays that have occurred in order to prevent player one from entering the battle phase. Um, generally, what you'll find is judges are very lenient with this, and even if it's like almost 10 seconds into the next, uh, into time, and you are only resolving like one or two like card effects that don't really meaningfully prevent the main phase from being adequately uh, continued, you would be allowed to enter your, ba your battle phase. Um, and if that was me judging, if it was my decision, I would have said that, yes, you would be allowed to enter the battle phase, despite the fact that time was called in the middle of resolving Link Karibo Tribute, scaling Poplar. Um, but in this scenario, they ruled that Link Karibo bringing itself back and the Poplar scaling itself uh, was enough of an impact on the game state to prevent player one from actually entering the battle phase. So, you know, it depends on where you sit on that divide, but that's what happened, and that's an interesting point of... Uh, well, I don't want to say interesting. I think it's very boring. <laughs> I don't think it's... I, I think interesting is the wrong word. I don't think it's very interesting at all. But uh, that's uh, that's the situation that occurred on the Saturday for context. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I think you can... There's there's worlds where this can be, uh, be ruled both ways. And, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, time wasting at its finest. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you can say it's time wasting, but at the same time, it's like, what are you gonna do? W like, not activate Link Kribo to bring back, right? Like, that that, that doesn't seem correct. Uh, Luke didn't call the head judge, though, right? Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't think he, w he was worried too much, because, uh, the player, the Snake Eye player who won the regional, even if that game ended up as a draw, his record would have been X01, which means that they still win the entire regional. So there isn't really much of a benefit to like, you know, even if they draw or lose. The only thing that really mattered is that it sort of messes around with the tiebreakers of the other people. Um, and I think basically what that would have meant is like, maybe I think like the World Chalice player could have got top four if Luke won. But then if Luke won, he would be first place tied with the World Chalice player for, I don't know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's bizarre. So, in the grand scheme of things, it didn't really matter for the two players sitting at the table, um, and probably why he didn't push for, uh, an appeal or something like that. Plus, listen, if you're in a situation where you're doing the World's Race and you're trying to accumulate all those points to actually go to the World Championship, the last thing you want to do is get involved with a bunch of judge calls and rulings and stuff like that. Most people tend to err on the side of caution and don't want to step on the wrong toes, you know what I'm saying? Um, the last thing you want to do when you have a bunch of world's points on the line is uh, make the wrong people angry. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably uh, partially to do with uh, p partially why that was left a little bit uh, ambiguous in the end, because I don't think it even uh, an appeal occurred there. 
If a judge tells me that I, with three, pl three 2k plus monsters, one of them being Mary Jade, that I'm told that I'm not allowed to proceed with battle, I would be mega appealing. Yeah, I don't know if he actually did appeal. Um, again, it's maybe one of those cases where maybe he didn't really feel like it was necessary. The difference between ninth place and second place in terms of points is, like, I, I, I guess it would be, like, what, seven world's points? Um, is that impactful enough to kick up a stir over? Well, I guess we'll find out when the leaderboard gets tallied up and scored up in about six months or four months or something. <laughs> that's uh, that's when it'll matter, I suppose. But maybe ultimately uh, getting that much of an issue over that wasn't really worth it. Second place got an oversized card as well. Oh yeah, there was actually better prizing, I suppose. That might have actually been uh, worth it. An oversized card. How much is an oversized card worth these days? Giant cards, I mean, it really just depends on the one. But oversized cards, I... I don't know. Maybe people are interested in those things. I've never had the desire to want to get an oversized card, but, you know. Uh, three gifties for you to look at my DC uh, Sword Tenyi versus Mech Orcus replay. We'd love to hear your pro opinion what I could have done better and well and badly. <laughs> you're not going to get that from me, my friend. You think I know what a uh, Mech... Oh, I guess you're playing Sword Soul. I mean, I guess I can maybe help with that. Uh, I'm going to load up the game in uh, probably a little bit, but not just now. I have some things that I want to cover first, so that's going to have to wait. Sorry, buddy. I would invent a new kind of appealing called Omni Ultra Galaxy appealing, where every judge in the country has to hold an election to decide my ruling. That really isn't that much different from the current state of the game with the Yu-Gi-Oh opinion, uh, with the with the with the current Yu-Gi-Oh opinion based uh, terminology that we have to like go through on the Twitter feeds before we uh, appreciate or accept or deny certain things on the community from being accepted and uh, moved on with, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. TLDR, basically, what I'm saying is um, court of public opinion, etc., already exists, so don't worry about it. Uh, all right, so next up, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, we had a bit of a crazy weekend here, didn't we? Not only... I didn't even get Duelist level 20, by the way. I am very upset about this. I tried to play on my phone. This little device here. I tried to play on my phone on the Sunday, right? Because I was busy. I, I could only do one single day on stream of Duelist Cup grinding. We got D level 17 on the first day. And then I barely scraped D level 18 over the past weekend because I couldn't play the game. Dude, I don't know what it is. Has anyone ever tried to play Master Duel on their mobile phone? It's terrible. It is unplayable. My thing would keep freezing. It would crash. I'd get disconnects. It was unbelievable. I just, I just gave up. I just didn't get D20 this time around. I was so upset. I, I wanted to do it on the Sunday. I just I couldn't play. Every single game was just um was just uh, uh, uh you know denied or uh dc'd or whatever it's awful man awful i got rank 3194 purely on mobile oh yeah well nice flex buddy anyway here's a nice flex for you chat ryan here peaked at 86,906 points winning the duelist cup back to back with labyrinth yeah you heard that correctly Ryan Yu, who we did the podcast with a couple days ago, if you missed it. Uh, last week's episode, I think. You should go back and watch it. I don't think much has changed in terms of uh, that there. But listen. Go back to back and win the Duelist Cup. Probably, like, in some ways, maybe the most difficult and hardest um, event in Yu-Gi-Oh! To win it all. Because not only are you throwing, like, hundreds of games and, like, the uh, physical toll that is required to actually participate in something like this and take it all the way to the end, and getting first place twice. Twice! Twice! It's unbelievable. And he didn't even need to do this. He already qualified. Remember, he uh, won the last Duelist Cup, guaranteeing a place at the World Championship with, for himself and his team. Playing this for literal fun. Playing this for fun. Like, that's what... Like, playing for fun. Like, he's playing for fun. It's crazy. Like, he's just playing this for fun. And he got first place again. I don't know. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. And honestly, I, I'm not even seeing anything particularly special or crazy here. It's just Labyrinth. I guess, like, there's main deck Nibiru's and Rainbow Magician, but apparently he's just, like, the most insane, craziest player when it comes to, like, Duelist Cups, and I guess Labyrinth as well, just the, the Labyrinth Demon. It's it's crazy. Um, so very impressive, and, you know, big shout-outs to Ryan for do doing so well and getting this far. Oh, one lady, I noticed, by the way. Huh, that's kind of interesting. I thought this was at least a two-of. Um, but, yeah, uh, pulling off uh, another victory with the Duelist Cup. I'm sure over the course of the next few days, we'll get to do a bit more of an in-depth review with the Duelist Cup deck list and stuff like that, because there's always some crazy stuff that happens, you know, like, shoutouts to some guy playing, like, pure Endymion and getting, like, rank 50 and stuff like that.
People keep saying rollback. Rollback is terrible, chat. Rollback is really bad. Rollback is not a good card in Labyrinth. Uh, at least in Macedo. There's not enough furniture. You have what? Is it two and one? Oh, it's two and two. Okay, that's something. Uh, two, you only have four furniture pieces. You have to, like, waste, like, Ariana searches on getting the uh, furniture pieces if it doesn't really make sense in that situation. Uh, just to be able to, like, get a rollback out of your hand. And even then, the payoff is, like, rollback copying a big welcome sometimes isn't even, like, that good. Uh, rollback is just re even even in like TCG rollback isn't even that great uh, let alone in Macedo when you have the uh, what's it called I've spreadsheeted some of the top 100 well there you go all right uh, we could take a look through some of this um, at some point I don't want to do it today but we have a spreadsheet here of all of the uh, different deck lists that people were playing in the top 100 it looks like is this the recent Duelist Cup that's a lot of Vanquish Soul and Pearly and Branded and where the hell is Snake Eye I'm sure most of these have to be Snake Eye, surely. Uh, hello? Snake Eye? Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, of course. What the hell? There it is. DC March 2024. Snake Eye Cash Tier taken up a third of the spots so far from the recorded deck lists. Labyrinth coming second, which is very surprising. I didn't think Labyrinth was that represented. Tier Element? Ain't no way. Uh, we've also got some Super Heavies. Ad Ignis, that was a very shocking uh, revelation. Jesus I don't know how people are end up playing Ad Ignis, or of all decks. Hello. People just a big fan of bath mech. So, um, yeah, we'll go through this uh, probably the next stream once more data has been coll collated. Because I do want to take a look at some of the people's deck lists and stuff like that. But, yeah. Uh, for me personally, I was trying to grind with Marine Cess um, with, like, 30 hand traps, unironically. I wasn't playing Cyanet Mining. Um, I, I was just maxing out on hand traps. Hand traps, hand traps, hand traps. One thing I noticed is, um, you know what it is? Playing Macedo, like, over the last couple of uh, weeks, I've tried to play, like, Tier Limit, for example, tried to play Burning Abyss, and Macedo is just so unfun without hand traps. Because you're just, like, <laughs> maybe it's just my personality, but it's just, it's just waiting simulator, and it's just, it's so boring. Like, you're just waiting for your opponent to, like, do, like, a full, long, like, 10-minute Snake Eye combo, and I just can't stand it. Like, I just can't, so... I've been, I actually enjoyed playing a lot of Marine Cess because I was just playing like 30 hand traps, literally. Um, and just stopping my opponent from playing the game just meant that I was getting to play more often, you know. Uh, coupling that with like one, two card combos is obviously very good. Uh, so, you know, that's uh, that's been the fun thing there for me personally. What hand traps are you playing? Just all of them, like Ash, Valor, Maxi, uh, Mourner, um, Ash, Valor, Maxi, Mourner, Imperm. Uh, I feel like there's one other one as well. I wasn't playing Nibiru. Was I playing Nibiru? I don't think I was playing Nibiru. But I was playing. I was just playing a ton of them, uh, and it was going pretty well. So uh, yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna try, and p that's what I'm gonna play as my new deck. By the way, just saying uh, going forward. Uh, no, I haven't done the OCG list yet, Vlad. I'm gonna do it in a moment. Uh, I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna roll, load up another Immortal Challenge. I I, I just don't want to take the footage from the. Uh, from the subathon thing at this point, I feel like it's been so long at this stage. There's been like multiple ban lists, different card releases and sets and stuff like that. I think it's so far behind. Even my DC Cup video, which I posted yesterday, which I'm very proud of. You guys should watch it. It's doing pretty well. Uh, shout outs to um, the uh, uh, me, I guess, for coming up with a cool, uh, cool video. But it took too long to release, I suppose. Um, and it was like people in the comments complaining like, Magic Dragon, this is from the last DC cut. It's like, yeah, well, you know, it doesn't change the fact that it was fun, you know, like, you know, it's still, it's still good, right? I was so confused at first. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it was a while ago. Do people think I played like the DC cup and then uploaded a video of the DC cup on the same day that the weekend is running? Like, come on, bro. Uh, anyway, thank you, uh, Sage Nibi for the 27 months. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Did we get those kappas, by the way? We did! Let's go! Nice, nice. Huge. Wait, so how do how come some people don't have one? What's your problem? What, you guys suck? You guys didn't get gold ones? What the hell? Alright, you guys kind of losers. Alright, there's a tweet here that I'm going to take a look at after, because there is uh, much to discuss on on this subject. I'm going to take a look at this. I have a feeling that they don't want Kirin back. Question mark, question mark, question mark. You are now blocked? What? <laughs> That's actually insane. They blocked you for asking for Karen? Do we take this as a confirmation? Unironically? I don't know. Like, that's actually... Like, the official Japanese Twitter banned you for asking for Karen. I, I think that's it. It's confirmed. 
All right, I got to take him out of my uh, prediction, I suppose. What the hell? Uh, Master Duel second anniversary team competition. Uh, I think the DC Cup is more relevant than that, so I'm not going to look through that one. Yu-Gi-Oh! Fact of the Day. Did you know that we knew about SP Little Knight three months before she was revealed? She appeared as a cloaked figure in the trap card Small Scuffle. Small Scuffle. But now we can know that she was a Rapa Kimaru. The card's name are a play on the Japanese name of Rapa Kimaru, removing the last two kanji, which can mean Night Chase. The remaining ones can be interpreted as either Little Opposition or Small Scuffle, if you want to know Little Knight, is the direction... Is the direct translation of Chiyo part of her name? Well, well, well. Uh, the greatest and best... Uh, what is that deck called? Um, the Banished deck chant with Gravitino? S-Force. Yeah, the greatest S-Force card ever made. Most normal R Master Duel discussion. Classic. This is really taking the, taking the Twitter by storm, dude. Most of you play like a bunch of boy lovers. <laughs> I am not promoting hate speech, but... <laughs> Peak content. Wait, do we have a lot of uh, things here? I take my art very seriously. Uh, yeah, that song is... Uh, Shoutouts to uh, Solemn for uh, putting together whatever that abomination of a, of a music video was. But holy. Uh, Ray is here to stay forever. I got scammed. Royal rare linear equation cannon. Ah, now you can pretend to be rich and do physics. Look at that. Last LCS changed Farfa's mind to go crazy. One bad day is releasing on February 1st. We are going to be playing a tournament using a ban list featuring everything in top cut as well as the three most important cards from the last ban list. Wait, I already watched this, didn't I? Kid deck, dude. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, yeah, I watched this. I watched this. Okay. Classic. A bit late and kind of cringe, but Ramadan Kareem. Inshallah, they don't have Ash Blossom. All right. That was actually not too many updates today. That's fine. Let's move on. Uh, question, chat. Uh, can someone buy me this? I can I uh, I I need I need this tour guide figure, and I've been trying to use the uh, really bad auto Google translating function on uh, online, and it's not been really working out, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but if someone can uh, find me a link to this and buy it for me or something, uh, th please do. It's not that expensive. Yeah, no, you should buy it for me. Put it in a jar. Shut up! Ugh! God damn it! Does Farfa change clothes? Uh, no. All right, new ship. New ship. New sus, or something has invaded us here today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the OCG list effective from April 1st. What is this, some kind of joke? What is this, some kind of joke? Uh, well, some of you might think so. I do know what's on this list, but I guess it's worth going through anyway. Let's have a little discussion about, first of all, the big changes here. First one is that we're getting an errata, putting Summon Sork straight from 0 to 3, Summon Sork is coming back to the game. Now, previously, Summon Sork worked by summoning a monster. Uh, target face a monster, this card points to... Okay, so first of all, it's on Summon. You special monster from your hand in defense of your opponent's zone. And then you can target a face up monster this points to. So you give them something from your hand to their field. You, you point to it based on the arrows. You know, make sure you summon it in the right zone. You special monster from your deck in defense with the same type as that. But its effects negated. That's it. There's no restrictions on it whatsoever, basically. So they went and they errata Summon Sorceress. Um, so now it special summons a monster with the same type as that monster from your deck in defense. Um, and you cannot special for the rest of this turn except monster with the same original type as that monster summoned from the deck. Um, and you can only use each effects of this card's name once per turn. I don't think that's too different, but yeah. Um, so this like opens up a crazy whole can of worms, right? Number one, erratas. Are erratas good? Should erratas exist? In a physical trading card game that is, you know, not really online, or at least, well, technically, it is now with Master Duel, uh, but primarily starting off as a main paper, you know, physical card game, are Arata's good? Um, I would say no, because having a bunch of different editions of random cards running around is kind of confusing. Um, and it also becomes like a weird situation where it's like, what do you choose to Arata and what do you not Arata? We can Arata Summon Sork, but like, why don't we Arata something else, right? Like, why does Summon Sort get the Arata treatment, but maybe some other card like Block Dragon that's banned that isn't going to come back for whatever reason? Why don't they Arata that card? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So it really comes down to like, it's it's it becomes a gray area, slippery slope where everyone gets to like, you know, gets to be upset that the card that they like doesn't get an Arata, or even then some would say that Arata's ruin cards. Because look what they did to uh, Sinister Serpent, for example. Hell. You could argue, like, maybe Sangan didn't need an errata. Although I think maybe Sangan probably should have been errata, right? Imagine 
Priorata Sangan today would probably still find a lot of good uses with things like Almirage. But anyway, the point is, is this is a whole other debate in and of itself, and I don't want to spend too long talking about it, but I just think it's really strange that they're, like, using Aratas again uh, and making it a bit of a thing. Now, one thing I will say, however, now, one thing I will uh, clarify is that while Summon Sork has been errata, people have been, like, commenting on the This card is, is very good, by the way. This card is very good. The only difference is that this errata made Summon Sork not giga broken. Now it's not Omega fucked. Now it's just a good card, okay? Like, there's a big difference. Now, it's still, like, I would say too, too powerful. Anything Generally, anything that generically summons from the extra deck, uh, from the main deck, is ridiculous. Generic monster that summons from the main... This is a ridiculous card. This is... Like, I think this is kind of broken. Um, but at least it's not giga fucked anymore. So, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's still very, very good. Um, all right, let's move on. So, they've put Gear Suit up to three. Glad that they're doing a little bit of a tidy up of the uh, semi-limited list. Um, I think we have Gearsu at three in TCG, right? It was just Harp that was banned forever. That card is at one. So my predict, my official prediction is Harp will eventually go to two or three uh, in the next list for us next week or whenever. Hopefully we get something in April. Uh, Supreme King Dragon Dartworm going up to three here. I was shocked when I saw this because I didn't realize this card was even semi-limited in OCG. So, okay, great. So these are kind of just nothing changes so far. Rite of Aramacer. This is kind of cool. I do like the Aramesa package. Although, do I conceptually? I'm trying to think. A generic Omni Negate package. Do we, hmm, I don't know. Do we actually like that chant? You could argue that that's actually not very healthy for the game, couldn't you? Hmm. Oh, Griffin is banned in OCG? Why the hell is this thing sitting at two for so long? Okay. Well, I was just thinking in the concept, in the, uh, sorry, I was just thinking in the uh, context of Mastodo, if this might mean something. Maybe they'll, like, slowly bump this up a little bit in Mastodo. Because currently it's, what, like, one and two ratio? Maybe we'll get a couple more, perhaps, perhaps. Illegal Knight is good, bro. <laughs> but wait, that's illegal. Lawn chair! This is so ridiculous. This deck is like, it's it's it, it's a problem in the sense that like Infernity isn't good, right? Infernity isn't like a like a meta contending. It's not a meta threatening deck. It's not gonna be like a good like broken archetype that everyone's gonna jump on. But it's just like. Infernity is not a fun deck to play against, right? Infernity is one of those decks that is just like, it's just it's bad for the game, right? Like, you look at the uh, stereotypical boomer takes about Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's like, they just turned this into a special summon, like, omni-negate fiesta with people dressed as orangutans, flipping poop at each other, playing the game. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of like what Adam Ancipator does. It's what Infernity does. It's what, like, all of these different Wombo Combo decks that just kitchen sink out a bunch of random extra deck monsters utilizing their broken in archetype multiple special summons in order to facilitate those crazy ridiculous Omni um, negate extra deck plays, etc., etc. So Launcher going back to three as an Infernity enjoyer. Hey, listen. <laughs> If we get something like this similar in the TCG, I would heckin' love to try this out. I'm just saying, I do miss playing a little bit of Infernity. Um, but it's a very, very, very fragile glass cannon deck that folds to basically, like, one disruption, two disruption. I'll be shocked and terrified to watch Infernity play through two well-placed disruptions. Um, and that's kind of, like, the biggest issue with this deck. So, But that doesn't change the fact that, like, I don't know if they should really be bringing these cards back, regardless of uh, of that. Change of fart going up to two, uh, going up to three from two here, which is cool. We've got mind control. We got change of fart. Uh, I don't know if OCG have snatch steal. They might have one snatch steal, but um, I think it'd be kind of cool to play like a go second stealing deck soon. Which uh, eventually after Ramadan, uh, I'm gonna start the local vlogs back up again. I do plan on trying to go to uh, locals and playing like a different type of deck as well. I want to play um, only staples, for example. I want to take three copies of Fenrir. And 37 staple cards, hand traps, generic things like a change of heart, dark coal, regek, and stuff. So just see how well you can do with something like that. So that should be kind of fun. We'll see how it goes with just uh, generic link summoning of your opponent's cards, right? Uh, next up, we got newly semi-limited as Ib, the World the Chalice, Justice Seer. I don't know why these cards ever go to, like, one instead of, like, two and three, right? Because, like, obviously, the like, Halka Fibrax to one is massive, right? But, like, Halka Fibrax to three, it's, like, that's not really ever coming up, right? Like, and that's that's so niche that it's irrelevant that I don't even... I, but it, it's whatever. I guess there's, there's, right? people care that it's at one before it even goes up to two or three the most. Um, although, jumping up to two but not three is a bit weird. It's like, oh, wow, you know... We want to protect you guys from the third Ib World Chalice just this year. Yeah, so this card's pretty cool. Um, 
a little bit past its time. I thought this thing would be way more impactful than I thought it would in the TCG when it came back. Because um, it really is like one of the most broken cards of all time. But somehow, some way, um, I think it's just because of the fact that like level 5 synchro is like too specific. Um, for some engines and some decks to really fully utilize the grand capability that maybe it just isn't as good as you would think. But, I mean, it's a crazy card in its own right, you know? It's a float, it's a tutor of a special summon, it's just much, mucho extendo, and it's also a tuner. Um, card is very good, so, anyway, two, three, it doesn't really matter. It's been out one for a while, so this doesn't really change anything. This might be the stupidest hit on a ban list of all time. This, this might be it. This one right here. This, this, this officer, officer, this one right here, officer, this one. This might be the most nonsensical, nothing dumb hit ever in the history of this game. It's up there with like shooting riser dragon to one. Um, I can't really think of what else, but, um, I just, I'm not sure what this is trying to do. I don't know what the logic is and I'm not sure what they're trying to suggest this is for. Like, it's perplexing. It's genuinely, genuinely perplexing, like, what this is trying to achieve. I don't know. Is it because of prosperity? Is it because of extravagance? Is it, like, because of the random banish off of, um... Uh, is it... Uh, Kashtira Unicorn wasn't resolving well enough against multiple SPs? I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm not even sure if it's worth discussing. Um, but there has to be logic to it. Like, the people making the ban list aren't, like, completely uh, ri ridiculously out of touch with the game to the point that they don't understand the difference between 1 and 3. Surely. Surely. Surely, right? Um, so I, I just... I There has to be something to interpret from here. And the only thing that can possibly somewhat logically make sense is maybe extravagance. I don't know. I just... I really don't know. So... I don't really have much else to comment on this other than why, but okay. Um, maybe this really is just like a warning shot. Someone suggested this like a, it's like a warning shot. Like, hey, listen. Hey, listen. We're looking at you. Hey, hey we're, we got our eyes on you. We got our eyes. Hey, listen. We understand, but we're not ready to do anything about it yet. So I, I don't know. I don't know. It's for exactly the 3v3 tournaments with a th shared card pool. That might actually somewhat be potentially the best explanation and only logical reason as to why this card went to two instead of three is that this affects team ycs's which i don't even think japan even has official 3v3 tournaments i, th I think they do but it's only at the local level who knows i don't know man i don't even know again like this is what this is up there with one of the most useless hits of all time right like this is like runic fountain to two for example right that happened in was that ocg or tcg i think that was tcg we had runic fountain to two um, yeah, truly, uh, truly suffering out there, aren't they? So, uh, yeah, similar thing with, the uh, Kirin. This is a two of. No one played three of this. Why is this going to two? I don't know if Japan is in the same situation as us, probably. Uh, where they have, like, a bunch of decks and archetypes and stuff that, um, Konami printed as their vision for, like, the, the world championship season. And so, going into national season, going into... Uh, the Road to Worlds era of Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2024, they figured that, listen, we want to like let you know that we understand that these decks exist and are good, but also we don't want to um, hit them directly because we want Worlds to be Fire King, Snake Eye. We want Worlds to like involve these archetypes. That's the only thing that really makes sense here because I just, I cannot fathom in which universe Kirin Tutu makes sense. I really don't. I really don't. Like, it's it's genuinely up there. Snake Eye Ash to two. I mean, this one is like so compared to like these last two hits, this one is the smartest 500 IQ change I've ever seen on a ban list, right? A consistency hit to Ash. Listen, that makes way more infinite sense than a card that was already played as a two of and a card that no one played three of. No one. No one played three SP. Even in extra decks, I don't even know if you'd play three SP, but who knows? Who knows? Okay. Anyway, uh, Kaiser Call, see him going down from uh, three to two. Just ban it. Honestly, I don't know what deck in OCG is playing Kaiser Call, see him. Uh, I don't care. Put it to one, ban it, whatever. Part of Extravagance. Oh, they also hit the Extravagance. Okay, great. Well, <laughs> so the Extravagance that's already at three, that, that kind of semi made sense for the SP, is now also going to two. So, uh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um, Tidal going to one, and Wanted also going to one. So these are actual, like, 
This is like probably the most logical hit so far that I've seen. This is like the one hit that actually makes the most sense. I don't think there's anything else here that's actually a good change. I mean, these are whatever ones, like putting these to three is like whatever. These are like very stupid and kind of pointless. Um, so this is like the one good change, I think, so far. A slight consistency hit to Snake Eye by semi-limiting Ash, but as well as limiting Wanted, which is obviously better than Diabell Star because it just has the bonus draw attached to it as well. Um, and then on top of that, we've got... Um, there can be only one finally going to one over there as well. I'm not sure what their goes and rivalry ratios are. I think it might be similar. But, I mean, these are good changes, I suppose, but that's about it. Um... Strange, honestly, strange. Uh, lots to uh, break down here. <laughs> lots to break down. Um, erratas, I don't think should be a thing. I think if we make erratas commonplace, it's a very weird, slippery slope. And I don't know if I like it. Everything else here was whatever, but the SP Little Knight and the Kirid were just absolutely ridiculous. It's a bit of a nothing ban list in some ways, isn't it? Right? There isn't actually any, like huge massive changes here that i think actually will impact the game except potentially potentially maybe summon sorceress um but yeah nothing actually like super super relevant here some consistency hits the snake eye i guess and that's about it let's read the comments sp semi limit is actually pointless wow the genius someone here must have an idea one of you pot of e users will have a higher chance to banish all their copies so more RNG and luck for those still using Pot of Extravagance and sacking undeserving players. How does this logic prevail? It's baffling. Why would anyone want to play a game so riddled with luck? Gacha's big in Japan. Oh, it all makes sense now. To them, games are all about luck. Games, luck, life, hard work, West. Games, little luck, life, all... Okay, this is getting, like, weirdly political now. <laughs> this is strangely airing on the side of, like, cultural fucking, like, uh, debates here. SP to 2 is such an OCG hit. What the fuck is that supposed to do? Finally, only one Tikaboo everywhere. SP to 2 is such a big impact in the metagame. Now decks like Amala Severus and Penguins that were held back by this will finally break the meta and bring back a new tier 1 deck to the table. But what a joke. At least Summon Sort came back. DZ voice, this changes everything. Isn't wanted to 1 quite a consistency hit? You have to replace it with Diabell Star herself, which would not give you a free draw. Why do people say this balance is pointless? Uh, that would, that, wanted to one was a fine hit. The rest of the stuff is not a good hit. That's, that's the issue. Summon Sorceress is good for the Ibli Lock and Cybers deck. Uh, free Fishboard Blaster. <laughs> Erratas are so lame, just make a new card. True, I'm with that guy. I saw the April 1st and thought, is this real? And almost lost it when I saw Summon Sork. And I guess she locks you into Spellcasters now, since there's no way to, to fulfill the condition. Um, it doesn't lock you into Spellcasters. It locks you into into what you summon yeah exactly but you are locked which is um the most important thing okay cool um all right reaction uh i don't know what that is uh let's check out the uh there's a post here that i wanted to wrap up and point uh put this together here so we've got a japanese player here saying uh to folks in the west we envy how konami in the tcg manages your ban list konami in japan has been putting insufficient timid irrelevant out of touch and out of sync ban list for quite a while the cumulative effect of their incompetence is now ruining the entire game. It's always one of those grass is greener types of things, right? I think TCG players look at OCG, see a lot of differences between us and them and think, you know, oh, they have it so much better with this and with that. Um, they look at a lot of our things and they think to themselves, wow, we have it so much better with our uh, changes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's always just one of those life lessons, I suppose, you can take away from that the thing that you look at is always better with the other person than it is for you, which is, you know, that's just life, right, for some people. Uh, the thing that uh, is interesting to me is that the logic that they're using, I think, isn't really um, conducive of the fact that they actually have a better, uh, a worse bandless system than us. Uh, what I mean by that is they say that Japan is putting insufficient, timid, irrelevant, out of touch, out of sync, balance for quite a while. So the issue that they have is not really the system of the ban list per se in OCG that this person seems to have an issue with. It's the actual contents of the ban list. And that is an objective truth, in my opinion. I think TCG uh, it does a much better job of OCG in terms of uh, the actual qualitative hits of the ban list. TCG ban list uh, changes are better. Um, they are more impactful, they're usually more relevant, um, and they're not as fluff-based and, you know, just kind of weird like the OCG hits tend to be. And they actually make sense a lot of the time in TCG. Um, although, you know, don't, please do not show me shooting Riser Dragon when I'm sitting here bigging up TCG for this, because, uh, you know, we, we have had a few couple of incidents. <laughs> but for the most part, the actual 
contents of the TCG ban lists uh, are much better. Much better than OCG. Um, the fact that Maxi is banned over here just blows everything out of the water anyway. But even if we ignore that and just talk about recently, uh, all of the actual changes that we get on TCG generally are more impactful and more relevant and important, whereas OCG just seems to kind of just throw a dart at a wall sometimes, it feels like. Um, now, what I will ad disagree with is the system of their ban lists. They get a live stream, I think. Don't they get like a live stream? They get like a pre design pre pre announced dates. They get like a like an actual um you know date of when they get their ban list, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh and they have like explanations on their ban list. Those explanations are usually quite bad and not really relevant and don't really make any sense, but you know, it's something. Some so it's something. People they're trying. You know, TCG gets um a ban list updated on Twitter whenever they feel like it. Which is not really fun to uh, be on the receiving end of now, is it? Uh, that Konami can just kind of like drop a list whenever they feel like it, and you just have to sort of accept it as, well, I guess we're doing this. And the only way that you have in uh, in way of predict predicting and expecting when that list will come is basically on Twitter and following a bunch of, you know, patterns in the past and a spreadsheet uh, of trying to guess roughly when the last year's bandless hits happened, et cetera, et cetera, which is why we all think that the bandless for us is going to happen at some point in April, right? Kind of like the same thing that um, they have uh, going on over there. Uh, generally, the timelines are following roughly the same pattern between OCG and TCG. The only difference is we don't get a set date. It's just like, yeah. So I, I think that's one of the worst things ever. I don't know why we, we don't get more communication. That's always been Konami's like worst thing. And as a general topic, this has been really concerning me. Because there are other TCGs that are growing and thriving right now. Pokemon TCG sells out their events in seconds. Literally seconds. One Piece. One Piece mentioned. I'm two episodes in, by the way. No spoilers. Um, One Piece is doing really well as well. And they have communication. And they have their events with thousands of people attending. And they sell out within literal seconds. Um, so I'm just wondering if there's ever going to be a sad situation where potentially maybe... TCG players in the West just straight up are just going to decide enough is enough. That's what I'm worried about. Like, I think, like, listen, if uh, it's it's upsetting because I feel like this is the best game, Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's sometimes, some of the decisions are confusing. They're very confusing. Um, and the banless handling is one of them. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, that's the OCG TCG breakdown here. Uh, not really much else to say other than uh, erratas are bad. Please stop making this a thing. And yes. <laughs> Did you want to apologize for recent list in response to the backlash announced global release for the sets? Global release. That's what we need in TCG. Please. Hashtag global release. Hashtag global release. Keeps is correct. Uh, do you think the collective opinion across all formats is shifting towards disgruntlement towards Maxi? It feels like the majority opinion in all formats is that the card should be banned, and more so that people have thought ever, uh, more so than people have ever thought at this point. Who really knows, honestly? Um, I don't know how much they care in Japan compared to us. Um, it's it's a whole different planet. It's a whole different world. Um, the best thing that you have is like bad Google translates of like Twitter. Uh, to really try and understand the psyche and the community uh, sort of ethos of like their opinions on cards and stuff like that over in the uh, OCG. So it's really hard to tell where they stand on it. But any type of uh, discussions we've ever had on uh, Maxi with OCG players like that um, interview that I have on my YouTube channel with Cha Ching Wang, for example, which you guys can go back and watch at some point forever if uh, you like. Um, I think he explicitly said, like, I would take all of the shit that TCG gets. Um, Old card pool, slow releases, um, ban lists being basically like whenever they want. I would accept all of that just to have Max E banned. That's what he said. So um, there is there to, there is a huge portion of the player base that also definitely uh, hate it. You know, so just saying. Orkana had their first signups this weekend and determined a player cap of 512 and there were 40,000 people trying to sign up. <laughs> 512 player cap with 40,000 40, people uh, trying to sign up. Yeah, so listen, that's what makes me worried. Uh, that's what makes me uh, concerned. Because at some point, I'm worried that people in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! will just be like, enough is enough. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this. Right? Like, that's worrying and that's concerning. And things like handling the ban list and the rarities and the cost of the game and the barrier to entry and all this stuff. And it just makes me worried. Like, people are just going to be like, I just, 
I'm going to go play Star Wars. I'm going to go play One Piece. I'm going to go play Lorcana. You know? So who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, is it time? Is it time? <sighs> I think we may begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the woods. Say goodbye to peeps. Welcome back to the woods. We're here live for the woods. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? All right, let us uh um let us uh, begin somewhat. All right, sorry, just flying to something here. All right, let's begin. <clears throat> YouTube, welcome back to the woods. And it is another glorious week of the review of the memes. Let's begin. Oh, who posted this one, dude? Who posted this one? I stole this from my Discord, posted it on my Twitter, then someone probably stole it from my Twitter, then posted it on Reddit. Ladies and gentlemen, we managed to hit number one. Woo, rank one memers. When I accidentally use personality A with friend group B. Popped any babies le lately? What? How was the party? Horrible. That's me, dude. That's me. I know how it feels. I know how it do be. Who posted this? Who stole this? Who stole this? Fokion K1. I got you, Fokion. The other day, my friends who had gone to the beach were talking about this girl who was drowning, and this guy who was a lifeguard saved her at the last minute. It was very exciting. <laughs> Well, okay. Banger star, I see. Good job. Well done, guys. Well done. Banger star. Keep it up. All right. We've got sus by buttness. Um, is the joke PPP? Like DDD, but PPP? Is that the joke? Or what? Because I like my joke. He's using the toilet. It's a throne. <laughs> No, 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 my joke's better. Uh, PPP Machine X King Ar Ar Armageddon, okay? PPP. Anyway, new strategy. Pretend to be using snake eyes to see if my opponent insta-surrenders. I own zero snake eye cards. Snake dash eye smile. Well, can we get some results? Like, I want some feedback. Can, can we get some data? You can't just say, like, you did this experiment, but then didn't, like, elaborate. Hello? Like, I need to know. Like, what was the outcome? Uh, sir... Uh, I'll name myself Makanko with Makanko sleeves, except, okay, but where's the original poster here? Oh my god, alright, well, wow. what a tease, dudes, what a tease. Rate my hand. Anal quiz. Of course, this would be something considered funny by Slurper6969, you know? Uh, these are those old, like, you know, stupid uh, Exodia jokes you would see on Facebook like five years ago, right? Like you have all the pieces and then you have like torrential tribute coming out of his dick. So it looks like he's peeing or something, right? Like this is what you've established for us, but in Master Dose Slurper, 6969, by the way. Anyway, looks aren't everything. That's uh, the Link 1 uh, Magical Musketeer. Penis is so small. They just keep coming. Me trying to play the game. My opponent's hand. Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Ash Blossom and Lively Summer. Ash Blossom and Bountiful Fall. Ash Blossom and Merry Winter. I don't get the joke. Once per turn, no? God, this is really a bad week. Either I'm extra stupid this week or like these are just terrible. I don't know, man. These aren't great. Meet potential archetype. I'll be the next best deck post ban list. TR gets rid of the deck's choke points. We still have one new lab servant left. I'm gonna be so broken when this new normal trap comes out. The deck doesn't even need EEV anymore. Give me liberty, give me fire, big welcome, better resolve, or I retire, if and when, but never is. Zero YCS wins, zero dedicated pilots, seven furniture activations before end phase. 
Well, if we're talking about Master Duel, which is the R Master Duel subreddit, which is where we're on, I don't want to say, like, uh, my, may I remind you that Ryan Yu is now back-to-back -back with uh, Labyrinth. He did play a little bit of Dragon Link last time, but he won the DC Cup this weekend using exclusively Labyrinth. So um, I think that might con somewhat be considered a YCS win, right, if we're on the Master Duel subreddit. Use my normal traps to their fullest. Flip Skill Drain and pray it's enough. I don't even think he played Skill Drain. He did play five Rainbow Magician, though, to be fair. That card is wild. If only they knew, I wish to be irresistible to men. <laughs> Gustav. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Konami ID login. Select all squares with interruptions. This is, this is, this, this, I like this. This is creative. This is pretty good. This is pretty creative. You know what? I have never seen anything remotely close to this. You came up with this idea. You got a new idea for a meme. It's working pretty well. Congratulations. Morph them off. This is a good meme. This is a good meme. Well done. You're crafting something unique here. That's good. Um, oh, you didn't take the ash in hand. That's true. If they didn't run so many staples, I wouldn't be testing all my decks on them. It's time to duel in solo mode. Beeps and boops in fear. <laughs> this is the fucking boss. It's the digital bug card. <laughs> oh man this is me but with dragon army honestly you know that guy's been through way too much just saying uh but i'm not playing pure stun when someone auto skips as soon as i play a runic spell earthbound runic runic snake eyes runic sprite runic naturia runic for hire yeah okay josh uh, Masdu RNG cooking up the most glorious going second hand I could ever ask for after I win the coin flip and choose to go first. You just put a text on a picture of a chef, dude. Okay, yeah, I get that's like memes, but just some random stock image of like chef kiss and you just put some words on it. Okay, dude. Uh, priorities. When I have a court date in one hour with my bitch XY for the custody of the kids, but Duelist Cup is about to end and I'm Duelist level 19. If Duelist Cup is about to end and you still haven't hit Duelist level 20 with one hour to go, you don't deserve the kids. I'm just going to say it right there. She, she should take away those kids. Also, very oddly specific. Like, what is this uh, projection here, my friend? This, this is very specific, buddy. Uh, we've all been wondering about this, so let's settle this once and for all. Both are covered in oil and naked. Who is winning the twerk off? Here's why Apollosa does not deserve a ban. True. Yes. Smashing ground target. That's what's that's what's holding us back. Is it Dark World Field? Apollosa pass. Where's Grafa? You know what? Who knows? Yeah, it's my turn. Bro, stop playing. It's literally my turn. It's our turn. Generators. Goatee. Weather. Labyrinth. Tear Lament. The, uh, f we need like a four horsemen of the main phase three apocalypse, right? Like, that's, uh, that's, that's some of the most annoying decks in the game. Yes, me when I play on my opponent's turn for, like, 10 minutes with Tier Lament, activating a bunch of fusions and milling and uh, special summoning and searching. Feels good. Um, some poor kid in Germany going to his locals with his blue eyes deck for fun. Joshua Schmidt. Banish the top four cards of your deck, little bro. Joshua Schmidt, by the way. J Joshua Schmidt. Oh, wow, this is, th this got worse the more I read it. Damn. Uh, baby Sarah Saurus be like, I have my whole life ahead of me. No, you don't. The raptor is coming. <laughs> 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 oh, man. One joke, dude. One joke. They keep making them. I keep getting knocked down by it. This is on me. This is my fault. One singular meme, dude. One joke. <sighs> oh. Society, if dimension, if dimensional barrier could stop link summons. Yeah, yeah, not wrong. Yeah, you know what? Maybe they would actually ban it at that that point. You know. Uh, yep, you can legally turn trap cards into spell cards. You are trap cards. Yes, you can target one face up spell and trap in the field. Place it in the owner spell. From now, you will be spell card. You get that? You are spell card. Uh, okay. Well. Yep, Snake Eye does indeed put cards to spell and trap zone. I feel like we really stretched out a simple uh, concept there into a joke that took a little too long to really hit, but okay. 
Not, uh, not crazy. There's a couple of okay ones here. The court date meme is hilarious. No, it's not. What do you mean? This was hilarious? Anyone who finds this hilarious is, like, very weirdly specifically resonating with... I can't find it. Am I blind? It was near the bottom, right? Oh, you know what? Thank God I've lost it. Um... What the hell is the Albaz Visas put? There's nothing. There's no joke here. We don't get it, right? There's no joke. There's no joke. It's just I. I love these men. I love these. Men. I. I want to oil up and rub oil all over these guys and and touch these men. That's the joke. There's no joke there. Like that. That. That was the meme. Second one is all right. Rest are met at best. This stuff is getting too meta for its own sake. This was surprisingly good. Samuelo, I prayed. Where is he? Hit these guys with an asteroid, Samuelo. Samuel, my beloved, where have you gone? I'd rather play versus stun than runic. If you think Alba stands a chance in the twerk off, you are we're not debating this. Laugh pretty hard at a few of these. Improvement. Oh my god, a good week. Uh, the duality of uh, the Macedo comment section, huh? Good week, bad week, terrible week, amazing week, awful week. Who really knows, huh? Um, all right, so a couple of absolute duds here. Shoutouts to PPP. <laughs> this gets funnier the more I look at it. <laughs> Guys, I have to... Uh, P P P Armageddon Knight of Armageddon. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah, very cool. All right. That's uh, that's the memes. That's the memes. Enjoy. <sighs> Me when I P P P, dude. Oh my god. All right. Uh, mods. Uh, make the Albas versus Visas poll. Stop. Do not. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think. That is the, uh, the, the content that I wanted to recap, actually. Yes, I think that was it. Um, so now, it's practice time. Now, it's the training arc. I'm gonna get a little bit, uh, good at this here and begin our, uh, begin our event with the, uh, if I can learn to open this. Uh... Can I get a Hajime right now, boys? <laughs> you reacted to Rhyme Style's video about the official Yu-Gi-Oh! VR. We didn't get the perspective of a person playing. Uh, no. Question mark? Is there a Yu-Gi-Oh! VR demo? demo? Surely not, right? Three idiots versus Frieza. So I played the new Yu-Gi-Oh! VR game. Huh? Oh, it's officially sponsored and everything. Wait, hold on, chat. We gotta watch this. So Konami brought me and C-Reax to Japan back in February for the quarter century celebration for Yu-Gi-Oh! And one of the main things we got to experience was Yu-Gi-Oh! VR. And by the way, this works amazing. I just realized I hadn't made a video about this or talked about it, but I grabbed this footage from, from Konami and I wanted to give you my, I guess my overall thoughts on the actual thing. The thing is... The, the Wait, hang on. This isn't a demo, is it? Did not do it justice for how amazing this thing is. Oh, like, co that, oh that, no, it's just a discussion percent. video. You remember when Battle City was happening? We were watching Yugi and Kaiba duel. Brother, and oh, Duelist. come on. Where I got jabated. You... It's just Small. some YouTuber yapping the over the freaking trailer. That's not a demo, dude. What the hell? Oh, my God. Uh, anyway... Of these I I want to oil up and rub oil all over these guys and I all you I just I, I knew that this would be as soon as I started speaking I was like you know what deep down in the back of my head I was like I hope mask isn't watching right because uh, mask is really good at that Rask, mask has a talent for this kind of thing you know uh thoughts on my trade offer oh yeah you wanted me to watch a replay uh sure I'll uh I'll take a look at a replay real quick all right uh, you guys want to see my D level 18 deck? <laughs> guys, I didn't hit D level 20. Uh, so if you're just joining in for context, I tried to play a little bit of the, um, the Duelist Cup the past weekend, but, you know, I, I was away. And I didn't have enough time to even get to the, uh, D20, because I, I played one stream and I had to cancel the one, uh, against Josh for it. So, uh, I didn't even get to play this time, which was so disappointing. Um, I don't know what it is, but UK events seem to consistently, constantly crash, uh, sorry, clash with uh, with all of the uh, with all of the ones that I want to play in. So that's it's really depressing. Um, it it just it is what it is. Uh, so I didn't even get to play here. 
Uh, let me just say thank you to some subs, though, real quick. Uh, who wants to thank you? Uh, Josh Look, thank you for the brand new subscription. Sad Machini. Sad, Mach Sad Machina. Machini, thank you for the 36 months. Sashio, thank you for 30 months. Captain Brittop, appreciate your 56 month resub. Sawyer, appreciate your prime for 64. That is very nice. That is five away from <laughs> Uh Sage Nibi, thank you as well for the 27 months as well. Thank you, thank you, chat. Much appreciado. Mucho appreciado. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you saying, Quantal? Uh, did you enjoy my Sky Striker Ace Ray streams? No, I freaking tuned out whenever you were playing that garbage. I enjoyed every other deck, though. <laughs> Just not that one. God, Striker so boring, man. Holy. All right, let's receive some uh, cards here. What did I just get? Did I just get, like, 600 gems? Let's go. All right. Uh, well. What what happens if I click Duelist Cup as someone who didn't even, like, get anywhere with it? Is it me or is this, like, mega quiet? I did something last time, didn't I? I didn't get D Max! I'm hard stuck 18! I'm so bad, dude! <laughs> I'm so bad! Who got second place, by the way? Is it Task? 82.5, wow. Do you know what, like, the, the crazy thing is whenever you look at the Duelist Cup? Like, I just want you to, like, look at, like, the gap. Like, just how much better these players are. I did, like, it's, it's, it's just not even luck at this point, right? You just can't say that. Like, the fact that, like, the gap is insane, right? Like, you have these two who are just, like, 80, like, within, like, a couple thousand of each other. And then you just have, like, a freaking 10,000 point gap. That is a 10-game differential uh, between second and third place. Um, and then the drop after that, again, it's, like, 7,000 points. And then it's just, like, you just have, like, these top uh, players who are just crazy. And, and it's just, I don't know. Yes, I know they're not final chant. They haven't been updated. But, like, still, like, the, the, the relevance of the points is still there. You know? Haha, <laughs> well, actually, right? I, I know, I know, I know, you, I know. Um, did you see this? What is this? Oh, yeah, the song? I did. Uh, alright, Duelist Cup survey. Uh, I don't really have much to survey here. I mean, it, it, it's, it's gonna be the exact same as every other time. Uh, what do you think of the length? It's too short! We need... <laughs> we need 96 hours! What's 72 plus one more day? 72 plus one more day is math. 96. We need a 96 hour event, dude. Did you enjoy dueling? Uh, no. I didn't get to play, really. <laughs> Were you satisfied with the mission? Nope. This, uh, nope. It's a very simple, small change that I'm asking for, but all they need to do is add a, um, add a stage two reward system. Because right now the reward system is for a handful of players. So, assuming that there are actually a lot of people playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and that this isn't a dead game, there are tens and tens and tens of thousands of people playing the Duelist Cup. There's a there's a there's an accolade for like top ten thousand, like top twenty thousand, I think maybe even has a badge. So if there's that many people competing, why are all of like all of the rewards for like literally like five people in the world? Um there's a couple of cool cosmetic icons for like top uh ten, I think, right? There's like the gold icon. There's the world's uh, spot, and that's basically it. Top 1,000, I think, get, like, a title. Top 10,000 get, like, a title. Um, top 500, I think, maybe get a title. That's it. There's nothing else. Like, there's literally nothing. Like, they can't even give you, like, some, some packs, like, some extra packs based off of your points, based off of your standing. Really? Um, I feel like there should be way more cool cosmetics, right? I think you should get, like, custom sleeves. I think there should be, like, animated ty uh, icons, which I think is really cool. They do something similar in Hearthstone, for example. Um, the rewards are just, like, they're just so off. There's just so much potential for better rewards, and I just don't think they're utilizing to anything anywhere near their uh, their thing. The only difference between place rank 101 and rank 10,000 is the number in your title. Yeah, like, that is disappointing, because then you would have actually people competing in this event that aren't just, like... Because right now, the problem is... Um, we talked about this in the podcast, and I think I didn't really drive my point across enough. So many people want to take part in the highest uh, level of Yu-Gi-Oh, but they aren't actually good enough to go to Worlds, right? So some people want to take part in the Duelist Cup just to see how well they do as a competitive player. They might not have, like, the full, you know, 30, 40 hours to give over the course of the weekend, but maybe they have, like, two or three afternoons. They can go, like, Friday afternoon, they can play Saturday night, maybe a little bit in, like, Sunday morning. And they want to just play the game and see how far they can do as a decently competent player who knows the decks and who practices and who play tests. And it's like, what is the Duelist Cup offering for that person, right? Like, what does what does the what does the Duelist Cup offer for that player? Competitive casual, exactly. Yes, that's you say you say that in question marks and inverted col columns uh, commas 
uh, sarcastic, but that is that is a thing. Like the problem is Yu-Gi-Oh players like don't know how to identify like their own demographic. We're really bad at talking about this. For Yu-Gi-Oh players, there is only world competitor or noob casual. Like there's no in between. Like for some reason, we don't have a word for what you call this middle ground, right? Um, and I don't know what the word is. Uh, I I generally tend to go with the, the, the dubbing of casual competitive, but the fact that there's like this huge portion of players that are very competitive, that want to play the game at the highest level and practice and do well, et cetera, et cetera, but they might not have the time or even the skill to play at the absolute upper echelons of the game. It's like, there's nothing for those players, it feels like, you know, like almost like this amateur competitive player, I guess you want to call it, sure, something like that. Um, I think that's a, that's a huge missed mark in the Duelist Cup, for example, right? Because right now the Duelist Cup, like the only real reward is a title. Um, so if you're rank 101 or rank 10,000, there's basically no difference between you and that person except the number on your title in your profile that no one looks at, right? So yeah, I don't know. Um, there needs to be something for those type of people. Were you satisfied with the reward? Nope. Were you satisfied with the rank? Nope. Uh, were you satisfied with this with the overall experience? That's yeah, fine. Please tell us your goals for participating. My goal was to reach D level, uh, a higher D level in stage one, make it through stage one, achieve a high rank in stage two. See, this is the thing that players like don't really get and don't really have in, in the Duelist Cup. We don't really have enough of us who are just like, um, or rather, I don't think people like recognize just how prevalent this large demographic in the game is. People who just want to play the stage two just to see how high they can get. They're not going to Worlds. My goal was to qualify for the finals of the World Championship by placing... For who is this for? Who is this for? This is literally for, like, no one. The, the, the amount of people that this, this goal is for is so tiny and so minuscule that it doesn't even, like, matter. Because this is not who the game should be designed around, right? It's so weird. Like, it, I find it bizarre that this isn't even a, a demographic that is, like... Like, this is not something the game should be, like, revolved around. Is like... Literally, in the grand scheme of things, 0.00001% of the player base, that doesn't really, like, work in my mind. Uh, Josh? Well, no, because he's already qualified, so he didn't even take part in this one, did he? Um, my goal was to get season points. That's kind of the same thing, though. Season points is what le leads you to go to Worlds, right? Like, unless there's a big difference between I want to get first and I want to get season points. Do you think that the person who's trying to go to Worlds sees a difference between season points and going first, right? Because the person who wants to go to Worlds, they're already grinding the season points, or they're trying to get... It's not even or. It's like they're trying to do both simultaneously, right? It's like kind of like this. it goes together, right? So that's kind of a strange thing here. Um, tell us what you think about the Duelist Cup. Strong players. Rewards. Reaching my goals. I don't know how to build decks. <laughs> yeah, same dude. Feel free to send us any feedback uh, regarding the Duelist Cup. Uh, more cosmetic rewards... Um, for the middle, uh, player, for the middle rankings. There you go. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, what are season points? Yeah, it's funny, because, like, most people don't even know about this, but, like, um, if you get high enough in the Duelist Cup, I think you need to be top 100, you earn points, and then you use those points to, um, you use those points to get you into the, um, into the, uh, the world playoff. Uh, so there's going to be Duelist Cup first place goes to Worlds. So that's three three teams total. Last year's champions, that's four teams. Plus each region probably gets something like one. That's like three more teams. And then one more team uh, from uh, the season points. So if you get like top 100, you get like X amount of points. Um, and then you can get to uh, go to Worlds from there. Is basically how it works. Anyway, chat, this is my deck list that I've been messing around with. I feel like there's something important missing from the extra deck. I don't really remember what, but I feel like there's something missing in my extra deck. Uh, but this is what I've been playing around with so far. And I know it's one of those, like, uh, you know, very, uh, very, very typical, you know, standard things that people will say. I was basically winning every single game until I got disconnected. <laughs> I was playing on a phone, and there was just no way... Uh, for me to, uh, like, have a consistent in uh, internet. So I would do my full combo, and then I would just see, like, the glass shatter animation, and I would lose the game because I just went through a tunnel or something. It was just the worst. Uh, Kragen, maybe? Uh, I can maybe put in Kragen, yeah. The uh, Riz out the, the uh, Rizaz first, though. What are these sleeves from here? 2023 qualifier celebration? Avramax? Subterror sleeves? Oh, my God. What are these white ones from? Synchro Silver. Tiara meant strongest. The, the World Legacy. Us. What field are we using? 
My signature uh, dune sands. Me when I say salam alaikum to my Muslim friend once. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Animador and Argosaur. Fenrir. And, uh, yeah, Ash. These are some good uh, main cards here. Krusty, thank you for the two years. Appreciate the resub. Thank you, thank you. How far did the Masochist go in the cup? Uh, we didn't even, like, bother. I think I did, like, two duels in the Masochist um, challenge for the duels cup and then just moved off. Didn't really feel like it was worth it. All right, should we throw in a Kragan? I don't know how I feel about the Crystal Heart, by the way. It doesn't really feel like it's necessary. Um, I played like a couple games and it never really felt like there was a situation. I would either get hand trapped enough to the point where the Crystal Heart wasn't relevant or um, it just didn't really feel like I needed it for anything, to be honest with you. I'm not even sure why I need the uh, Link Spider and the Splash Mage for either. I think if I get like Nibiru, I can make Link Spider. That lets me go into Splash Mage. Splash Mage brings back a guy and then I, I guess like that lets me go like Marble Rock or something. Maybe I can He's climb up into a, into a bubble reef. Wow, wow. You need a Gozen match? Uh, I want to play a Floodgate. I don't know about that. Uh, Giga White, thank you for the 22 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Do I play the Pascal? Cross out called by. I could cut down on some Veilers and add like some more one ofs or like the Mourner. I want to play like the Kragan. I have two of them, by the way. God, what do I need to cut here? God, it's actually so hard. Like, I need like all of these cards, I feel like. Unless I want to play, like, Two Slug, maybe? I could try, like, Two Slug for a bit, see how that feels. Um, how about I just play, like, One Talents as uh, my 41st, you know? We do love that. Good game theory right there. Play One Tikaboo. I think you mean Gozen, because this deck cannot play under uh, Tikaboo. All right, champ, I'm going to test with viewers. So, uh, if you want to play against your favorite streamer, man, I guess I'll uh, duel against you. Um, no real rules or anything, just play, play a meta deck. Play a real meta deck. And, uh, yeah. That was episode two of One Piece. Oh, Ram Ranch Zoro is being rescued right now, dude. I'm pretty hyped. Uh, I just love listening to Chris Sabat's voice. So, yes, I did choose to go with the dub, but I've been enjoying it so far. So, I'm pretty happy with it. All right. So, uh, should I post this in the sub chat or something on my so Discord? Or where should I put this? Hello, Mr. John Cohen um, Army here. After hearing your complaints, we decided to make a Yapping Duelist Cup just for you. Yapping Top three Duelist Cup. Get to go to Yapistan. Uh, yo so soy gross. los uh, presidente de los Yapos. Thank you, uh, Prastel. Appreciate it. Um, okay, I think I'll stick it in the uh, sub Discord channel. Uh, room code. Room details. Okay, chat, if you are in my Discord channel, uh, it is currently pinned in the cardboard box. Anyone wants to do some testing against me, I'm going to be playing a little bit here. So if you're wondering why, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be starting an Immortal run. Um, and uh, I'll be, uh, yeah, I just want to try the Immortal run again and then see how we do with the, um, with the old Paleos. Because uh, I could play Snake Eye, but I think... Um, that deck's going to take a little more practice to get good at. My schedule really is to try and see how long the Immortal Run can last over the next couple of days. And then uh, make a video out of it. And then the next challenge after that, well, I'm going to be mastering Unchained. I really want to play that deck. I want to be good at it. So um, I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. Because uh, I practiced a decent amount of Unchained in the TCG a few months ago, but I'm very rusty now. But I think it's going to be really fun in, in max, uh, max C format. Yes, I know. Um, but I think there's a world where it could uh, could end up being okay. All right, this is uh, Unlockers. Ass. Well, didn't hit him with an end phase card effect, unfortunate. This is why I love these decks, by the way. Just like four insane powerful defensive cards um, into like, you know... Oh boy. You think I should have played on Gamma? Into, uh, into the. Oh boy. Awkward situation, because, like, if I called by his Ash, then my Ash dies. But it's probably worth it. I think it is, right? Oh no, it's Feet Ash! This one's unnegatable, surely. All right, well, I do need cards, so uh, hopefully uh, I can just survive here. Maybe, we'll see. 
Uh, draw more hand traps. Draw some imperms and stuff. Add a galaxy moss. Pfft, I don't know, dude. I feel like you just wait for, like, the XE with Valor, maybe? Unless they can set up the uh, infinity. I don't think he can do. Because he's adding galaxy wizard. Where music? Um, is this loud enough? This is loud enough, right? What does this one do? Add the galaxy eyes photon dragon. Sure. You going for the kill there, bud? You going for the kill there? Send from deck to the graveyard. Send yourself now, bucko. Alright, there you go. Alright, we've got Galaxy Trance. Pay 2k, special summon from the graveyard. Mm-mm. Afterglow. Alright, okay, we're taking this. That's some big guys. Okay, Mourner is going to be huge here. Uh, look at your opponent's extra deck. God, don't you just love these really healthy... Uh, healthy interactions like this? Remember, play meta? I didn't say play meta. I just said, like, play, like, adequately within, like, your... You know, your means of... Uh, like, if you want to play, like... As long as it's well-built, right? Like... People can kick W all they want at, like, Photon and Galaxy, but listen, it's very funny until they called by you and then OTK you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hi, Jaja, -Ja. good morning, sir. Hello, everyone. Um, I am doing some testing against my viewers for, uh, the Marine Cess gameplay to try and do an Immortal run on Wednesday, we'll see. We'll see how that goes, but hello. Hi. Um, check out my second channel if you want to watch some funny, uh... Ooh. Uh, I'm going to have to use this regardless. So I don't die. Is he not trying to kill me? A tribute summon, isn't it? Okay, there it is. That's a level eight. Wait, is that not a tribute summon? It's a special by tributing two monsters. And Boomer's uh, in shambles right now, dude. Uh, okay, well, this is where Big Chungus comes out here. Hopefully he doesn't have a way to negate this. <laughs> I am praying that he does not have a way to negate this. This guy, right? This is the killer. Uh, you can also exceed this by doing that. At the start of your battle phase, attached material can make up to three attacks on monsters. This card is Galaxy has a uh, material, gains these effects unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. That is epic. That is epic. That 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 is epico. End of main. Why didn't he just put this in attack mode? Am I dead? These Double the attack of all so number exceeds. I love Ray. I'm gonna die. Surely it won't be affected, right, guys? <laughs> huh? This one is Detached Special Summon. Double the attack of all number exceeds you control. I'm dead. I guess I'll give him the satisfaction of hitting me in the dick. Ash it. I've been called by chat. You missed some context. Oh well, we're dead. Unlucky. Shout out to the guys who are just dueling against each other. It's supposed to be my testing room. Double Ash it. That's how uh that's how that works. Omar! Thank you for the seven months, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Alright, uh far for viewers are too strong, apparently. Should have set both my call buys instead of trying to be clever. Can I show you a poster I made last year. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right. Um, I'll get you this time, Bucko. All right. This is good enough. Normal summon sus. Effect. Special summon from hand. Ah, uh, C. 
A sailor went to CCC. Uh, the tour guide figure is something that's on my radar. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Ooh, five Rainbow Magician. Um... Guess I lose. I guess I lose. Uh, so how, what does this say again? It's, uh... Okay, so this resolves... New chain. Um... Zero set cards is almost as they control, cannot attack or activate their effects. All right, cool game. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> is what it is. Uh, me self TK. All right, I hope you're not actually playing a self TK. Boy, uh, there's some real interesting card choices that get allowed to exist in Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't there? Fun stuff, fun stuff. Uh, this is how those top player wins, huh? This is how I won most of my games this weekend. Seems cool! Seems really cool! <laughs> uh, you don't play Imperm in the sus deck? I do. I just didn't draw it. Alright. Uh, not the guy I was hoping for here. But good enough. Oh, okay. So oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. I see. A man of culture, huh? Okay. Very nice. These yep. Oh, I'm not gonna need this card. Probably over here. Wait till I get start beating down with driver. Just you have a have a look at this in a moment, boys. Gekoin, thank you for the 53 months. Relative layoff, thank you for the six month prime. Thank you, thank you. Pay your 100. He really is self decaying if you think about it. Oh god. Wait, so I can't tribute set or summon, right? Correct. All right, I'm gonna leave this one. Thanks for the game. Appreciate the testing. I've learned a lot. Not off to a hot start, are we? All right, Evasion. Try, uh, let's try win a game of Yu-Gi-Oh today. I suppose that's gonna be that's my that's my bucket list. That's my goal. Can <laughs> I win a duel? <laughs> um. Pretty sure you can. Can you, can you, if they have a monster, can you tribute summon under a Kaiser? I don't think you can, right? I'm not sure you, I don't know if you can. Um, what is this here? Okay, I need to back around with this. Um, here, i just opening something up here that I gotta work on. Yo, Chad, I might be streaming from a new location very soon. Which is exciting. Which is very, very exciting. Um, My internet and stuff is set up at my new house. I Technically, if I want to stream, all I gotta do is... uh, Just set everything up. Like, just take, like, the physical components over. Because, like, the internet is there, and that's, like, the most important thing, I suppose, when it comes to streamer. You know when your opponent just passed his turn, you know for a fact they've got like 30 hand traps? What's an immortal run? When you give your blood to the devil to live forever. Monka W. Uh, so Spring Girl's a bit weird because if you go Slug Add, there's nothing to add back to special. So I think you have to go into Sea Angel. Unless you just get lucky and Spring Girl mills like a Marine Cess name kind of cool because I get to chain block this, I suppose, actually. Uh, this hand is cracked. Uh, well, I haven't learned too much about... Oh, of course I would mill the blue tank going second, wouldn't I? Um, Alright, so... There it is. Do I get a play around Nibiru? I think I've, like, reserved myself to just ignoring that card in uh, Marine Cess. There's only so many things you can play around. Uh, so I just, like, don't bother. Like, genuinely. Uh, so I think I send Mandarin. 
Go Anemone, Revive. Summon a Mandarin into the Slug to add. Slug, add the Spring Girl. It's like the same thing, I suppose. All right. I guess we'll just end on a Bubble Reef, which is always fun. Uh, this is probably what I'm going to be playing for the next few months in real life as well. Just because um, I, I don't want to buy a Snake Eye, you know, so I've already talked about this a lot, obviously. Um, but uh, ain't no way I want to play... Uh, st uh, kill two more Marine Cess mods. Ah, I see. It's a little bit different how that works, isn't it? Uh, so right now, it doesn't matter what I bring back. Uh, so we'll just go for the uh, Spring Girl. And this is like the cheapest deck in the game. Like you play this with like 20 hand traps and maybe you can bait, beat some Snake Eye Bozos. And that's basically my plan until uh, we get some new interesting decks. Which, you know, <laughs> new interesting decks? <laughs> Mod check? <laughs> Mod check? New and interesting decks? Uh, maybe we'll play Tempai if it's low rarity enough, huh? Am I right? Light Sworn sounds kind of cool, though. Light Sworns, I don't know, dude. That sounds kind of cool. Add this back here. Uh, Yubel? I haven't really thought about Yubel, honestly. Oh, I already made... I already have the trap card. This is fine to make because it gives you follow-up because the graveyard effect of this thing is, like, ridiculous. So this is still, like, good to summon. Uh, just so you can get it in circulation here. Um, so I think I want to... Which one is the one that summons Banish, guys? It's Bubble Reef, right? I want to Banish Anemone. And now we can also summon you. Maybe just have like a Spring Girl chilling, doing nothing, which is a bit awkward, but I guess, why not? Summon out the Mandarin. We'll go for the, uh, I mean, I a few ways to do it, but I think, like, Bubble Reef is just fine, then pass. Can't get the equip onto Argonaut, and then we just have, like, this plus two draws. Well, one draw. And, uh, like, three defensive cards. We kill. Uh, I don't know, like, I've never really tried to learn how to OTK in this deck. The water lock is ridiculous in this, um... So generally, I feel like you can't OTK Marine Cess because of the water lock, so I just don't bother. But you set up in such a way that you have, like, you're just way ahead of your opponent anyway. Surely the Tenpais will be rare. We are talking about this yesterday, and it's just like, what does Legacy of Destruction offer in way of, like, a collector or a seller or whatever, right? Like, what are you getting for that deck? Um, I guess I'll just banish you. You have to basically just pray that Tenpai is, like, high rarity. Because there's basically no chase cards. Unless someone just really wants to play cha uh, Tenpai. And by the way, I think Tenpai is actually going to be even worse in TCG than I thought it was uh, in OCG. A lot of their tournaments are uh, best of one. Well, they're, they're good ones anyway. And Tenpai best of three, it's like a joke. Like, what the hell do you do if your opponent says, you may begin? You know? Ashens could actually be good, to be fair, actually. That's a good point. Heat wave! <laughs> Seals pass, let's go. Um Okay, but like you are you guys are aware you can't rely on like a random one of to uh to win the game, right? Um This is interesting. It's interesting. Sorry, not one of. Uh, a random three of. Drawing one random three of is what I meant to say. Um, oh, Shifter. Okay, yeah, I guess you can also shift your opponent. That's true. Uh, just in case he's got, like, Delta or something silly. Three Heat Wave, three Shifter. That's enough to get you in the game, huh? You know, there's a thing we call decks that uh, have to draw a specific card or they lose. There's a thing we call them. Garbage. What playlist are you listening to that has a cover of Idol, but not actual Idol? Uh, it's my own playlist, actually. Should have a link there, yeah. 
Uh, the effect of Bubble Reef is activated. What is this? Oh, it's just the gain effect, not the draw. 3,800. Look at her. What a darling. Really asking for a second Tenpai video, huh? <laughs> Mathmech equals garbage? Uh, well, yeah, Mathmech is kind of bad, in my opinion, for a meta deck anyway. But, uh, it's not the same thing. Mathmech was much better at, uh, the other stuff because Mathmech had the, uh, ability to... Uh, get to circular through other means. You didn't. Ju you didn't just need the uh, what's it called? Uh, like any link monster on the field climbs up into like the engine that gets you there. So, not really the same thing, is it? Uh, I really need to draw a water monster here. Hello. Banish you. That's not a water monster. Can I send from field with this thing? Send the water from your hand to the graveyard. That's so annoying. Well, I guess I can't really complain here, can I? I'm kind of destroying this, bro. Um, Let's go this. And we'll play in main phase two. Link one. Um, Yeah, I can just go slug. Boing! LOL? That's funny. That's funny. Is Argonaut not in Master Duel? She is. I should be able to make one now. So I can go Sleepy Maiden in main phase 2 here. Heinz Vi. Well, what am I targeting here? To add, right? Target this to add. You to mill. He wave is the first thing you have to do in main 1, though. You can't prosper it. Uh, did someone suggest Prospering? Yeah, it's one of those cards that says at the start of your main phase one. Not a lot of them exist, but they are out there. Uh, if I normal summon and then link, it's kind of the same thing, I suppose. Let's just bring back the Banished Anemone. Get those resources cycling up here. Prospin the standby phase. That's some tech cards. Uh, we just bring this back, right? Uh, then these two make Marble Drock. Marble Drock adds back a resource. This can send the Sleepy Joe. Evasion, I'm going to be honest. I think it might just be worth scooping. But it's up to you. Put this in the middle, maybe. Anemone, add back a... You... This is how Bernie can still win, guys. It's how Bernie can still win. Uh, do we have a four? Oh, I just played that in the imperm column. <laughs> Boy, this deck is fun. It's like Salomon Great, but water. Uh, oh, I can just normal summon this. That's hilarious. Alright, there we go. Animadorn Archosaur. And then we use the uh, Sleepy Joe. So we have an equip here. Yeah, imagine if we had Toad, huh? Wouldn't that be something? We've just done this in main phase one, honestly. All right, I think we may have potentially finally won a game. It's crazy. What's Rift Art? Uh, I don't know. My mom's cooking today. So we'll see. Oh, uh, dude. Bubble Reef. Like, people like ending on Argonaut, but I love ending on Bubble Reef. The serotonin of the random draw. And then also having the follow-up of bringing back an Emony to just do everything all over again. Feels so good, man. Is this deck a linear combo? Uh, it's like fairly linear. Yeah. Zeta in the graveyard. Um, wait, what did you just do? Yeah, I'm a tribute Zeta. Oh, okay. Go for this, I guess. Ar Argonaut enjoyers. 
You just gotta remember to end on an equip with Argonaut. Shadow's over. Thank you for the five. Am I convincing you with my, uh, my what's it called gameplay? Can I burn you for a game? I can't. Clicking buttons, by the way. I don't know why I did that. Seems correct. It just felt right. Thank you for the five shadows over. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, we got off the mark here. We have a victory. That's really cool. Uh, let's duel against Quantal. Let's do, uh, let's, uh, can I, will I defeat my world champion adversary in Nemesis? I'm gonna lose the dice roll here, okay? Um, I lost the dice roll, of course. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. Uh, there's not really much to test here, is there, I guess? Why is this thing not saving? There it is. Unlucky. Can I attack? Can't even attack, right? Well, I guess I'm just gonna put the body up. Last turn. Mystic mine literally at home. Uh, Lude Stealth Elf, thank you for the uh, resub. Appreciate you. Um, add this here. Summon Lady. I'll get my one draw. Let me put this here, activate. Hey, I'm gonna test something. This is for, uh, this is for later. Epic. Hey, you guys wanna try Kadamon? Good game. 10 out of 10. Why did we just turn off our gamma? I don't know, I just saw a floodgate and my brain stopped working. Okay! Uh, is this big welcome into game here? Guess I gotta do this. All right, we might live here. Might live here. Hey, we survive. Okay, we have a turn. We have a turn. All right, I set one card. I normal summon Blue Tang Clan. Ain't nothing to fuck with. And you... Go into Slugma. Uh, activate one, two. Targeting the first spring. Well, we already have that. Go for this. Mill. And Lady uh, set under five rainbow. Uh, yeah. I think so. Recycle you, Okan, into the lady here. I'm gonna go for the field spell. I'm gonna get the ocean. Uh, we're gonna bring back Mandalorian. If there's no, uh, oh damn. Is this summon number five? Oh, needles. Interesting. Um. So if I go special spring girl, I go into slug. I've already used the effect. I think we just chill for a turn. Okay, we just hold now. Uh, he's kind of down on resources here, I'm not gonna lie. 
Maybe we can turn this around. Oh, oh, hold, hold. Okay. Uh, normal summon blue tang. Can I put an unaffected Argonaut up in five summons? That is my question. Wow! Quantal! What the hell, dude? What the hell? What's your excuse, dude? You lost to sla sl splashy girls. Final boss complete, boys. I queued the wrong list. Uh, <laughs> uh, wrong deck, my bad. Ooh. Oh, oh, wrong deck. <clears throat> Alright, who's next? Who wants a piece of me? Uh, Meyer. Why are you playing me in a mirror match? What's that about? Why are we playing- why are we playing a mirror match? We have another, like, uh... You know... Modern Sauce Enjoyer. Blue Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Sure. Uh, I need this command here to ch to work. For chat. One sec. All right, let's go this on resolution. Nice one off. I throw this in every deck, my guy. Throw this in every deck. You have to. Too good. <laughs> oh, it's feet ash. I got feet ashed, dude. I'm so sad. What the hell? Come on, dude. All right. Um. So, targeting this, excavating. What did you send with the blue tang? You sent Spring Girl. Now you're tum targeting Seahorse. Uh, so I guess I just put you on better have an extender. And guy in his pajamas. Thank you for the 44 months. Appreciate it. Did anyone recommend some oversleeves, by the way? Do I just get, like, Dragon Shield clear? Or, uh, does anyone know where I can buy some broccolis or something? Oh, he got a free wave. I'm so upset. I'm livid here. Ah, you've hard drawn dive? I'm sick. Dragon shield clear or good? The thing is, like, dragon shields are so expensive these days. I don't know why people buy this stuff. Also, just standard size? Or is there, like, do they have Yu-Gi-Oh! Oversleep size? Clear, perfect fit, standard size. Dragon shield, clear, perfect fit, Japanese. Is that how that works? Did they have Yu-Gi-Oh size over sleeves? Dragon shield, perfect fit, Jap uh, outer sleeve. But these are matte clear. I think matte is disgusting. Someone give me a British uh, eBay link. Thank you. Or Amazon link. They have Yu-Gi-Oh over sleeves, but they're basically clear matte standard. I don't like matte, though. Why do people like matte? The mat is the back, not the front. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want mat anywhere. I want to see the like the, the shininess and glossiness of my sleeves. Right? I want to see the um my my cool cards. Right? Pack sleeves are nice. Uh, my friend told me that the uh, Team Sam sleeves are actually good. Yeah. Uh, but I want a double sleeve. So, you like glossy? Yeah, I want to see my my cool sleeves. Dragonshield.com. Thanks for the link, guys. <laughs> guys, I have some computer problems. Where should I go? Uh, Microsoft.com. Thank you. Poyo. Can I get a Poyo in the chat, please? Thank you, guys. Like, <laughs> yes, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, surely Sam can send you sleeves. Are you guys listening? I want double sleeves. God. You're gonna have me sit here and talk about One Piece for like 30 minutes. You keep this up. 
Why would I go to Pokemon.com? Ask Sam. Ask Sam what? What? Ask him what? Why do you guys keep saying ask Sam? For what? <sighs> Just tape two sleeves together. How about we tape my nuts to your... Never mind. Uh, Keck W missed 35 damage. Am I missing something here? Did you just miss 35 damage? Hmm. Uh, okay. Let me think. Uh, let's go with you. Say the Fenrir line? What even is the Fenrir rough line? Just, I hate you? Oh, yikes. Heck, bye. You didn't make this with the... What's it called, did you? Okay, well, you have the, tri the triangle. That's fair. It's really awkward, because, like, now I'm under Maxine. I don't know what to do here. I have to try and hope he activates a monster effect on his turn, but, like, he'll just go battle phase, won't he? God, it's just, like, such an awkward situation. The thing is, he will just waste his battle phase dealing with Fenrir, I guess. So maybe I can just pass. Oh, we have a long-ass link in the chat here. Is this the right one? KMC Deck Protectors Mini Perfect Fit uh, Sleeves. £5.50? Seems like a kind of bargain there. Uh, okay, thank you. I'll give that a shot. Uh, did you just activate a card effect? The virus, don't click it, chat. <laughs> Wait, you play two? Okay. Just built differently. <laughs> just actual, just built differently, deck list. Alright. Uh, this practice isn't going too well. I feel like... It's really weird. I don't feel like anyone has outplayed anyone yet. Um, I've been floodgated twice, I've been maxied, um, I beat one of my opponents because he bricked, like, I just feel like none of these games have been very skillful. Right? Like, these haven't been super intensively skillful games, it feels like. I don't know. Basically, Master Duel? I don't know, man, it's kind of weird. Oh, Masochist today? Uh, I think Wednesday. Uh, today's video, uh, Masochist is on, uh, my YouTube after, uh, etc. Yep, words. Um, but yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be up. These Deckers, welcome so back for 44 months, uh... appreciate you. You need Japanese and outer border sleeves for perfect fit and Japanese size. Yeah, but I was trying to see if I could get Dragon Shield, but they seem expensive. Alright, we have a, uh, we have a wanted bozo. Dragon Shield Japanese small size inner sleeves. Is the inner sleeves are cringe. I don't want that. Dragon Shield perfect fit deck protectors clear standard size. See, these are not standard size. Let me see. Uh, so Japanese filter by size. So there's matte, but matte is cringe. Um, discarding a cash tier is kind of scary, by the way. Just saying. Uh, I feel like I'm in danger here. Oh, you can buy four packs. Uh, there is Dragon Shield Japanese small size sealable inner sleeve. Bro, I don't, does anyone use the inner sleeves? I feel like that's so weird. Uh, what happened to the MBT call up about guessing ranks? Uh, that's tomorrow, actually. Huh? Can I just say I have been, like, outplayed, apparently? Reggie activated DiFi after summoning Witch. So now my now my Valor has been like killed because of it. This is uh this is de genuinely like a tragedy right now. Uh Dragon Shield small card sleeves matte Japanese. These are perfect fit. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to buy these KMC ones and see how good they are. Cuz £5.50 for oversleeve seems like a pretty good deal. All right, what are you doing here? Fenrir plus Guy. Epic plus Daifi. <clears throat> I do. I use Inners and Team Sam's as my others. Why? What's the benefit? Like, what do you get from using Inner Sleeves? 
Dragon Shield Outer are only mats for Japanese, really? Why? You play uh, a Rise Heart Farfetch? No, actually, I don't play a Rise Heart, Haz. Uh. Angry da. Where's your Fenrir? Did you not get Fenrir? Um, two years. Spanish. Maybe this will be winnable just because of Fenrir. No point of double sleevings for using art sleeves that suck on their own. No one double sleeves to protect their cards. Well, that's evidently wrong. Isn't it? Some people do. Alright, let me read this idiot. How do you work again? Um, This card can attack if it does applies defense. If you're cashed to your scare called Bladdles... That opponent's effects are negated until the end of this turn. So I can't even force out with Fenrir. And I'm locked under DiFi. I don't know if you guys are noticing, but this is definitely a game of all time. Having a great amount of fun in this one today. Yep, having a good old banger today, actually. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go from here. Alright, epic. I'll just dip on this one. What's my record, chat? Like, 1 in 4 against my subs? Like, what the hell? Am I doing something wrong? I don't, I don't get it. Like, I feel like I haven't played bad. Um, do you run Nib? No. <laughs> Green set was the deck I used for the first time in my locals. Good going uh, first deck. Or it's a good first timer deck. Alright. Uh, my opponent made me start. So I'm gonna pass. Uh, I promise you I'm not stream sniping or whatever you want to call it, but your name is technically um, Tier 0 Makanko. So um, if it's okay with you, I think I'm going to let you uh, take the wheel on this turn one here. All right, buddy? Because you made me start. Wanted in the draw phase. Interesting. Ash. Okay. I'll gamma this. Why are you running gamma? Because it's a good hand trap. Why, uh, why are you the way that you are? <clears throat> Arabesque. Wait, so you are playing Makankos. You aren't just debating me. Guys, this person is just better than me. I, uh, I just, I just want to, I, 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 I feel like I should just, uh, I'll, like, let you all know, like, this, this player is just, he's better than me. He's a better duelist than I am. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Visa Today is the day, surely. We get a playlist link? Uh, exclamation playlist. See what I mean about hand traps? This is why I feel like uh, comfy and safe now. Like it's because of this exactly. You know, if I just open, like, three hand traps and a starter card, like, I just feel like I'm in a, a good spot. Maybe I wasn't supposed to mourner the, uh, witch here, I guess. Discarding, sending dark hole, wow. Alright, well, I shouldn't be too upset. He's got a normal, he hasn't used his, he has used his normal summon. He's taking control. Gamma. What? Uh... Hello? 
What's he doing? This is normal in Makanko? My brother in Christ, there is nothing normal about Makanko. There is nothing uh, normal about Makanko. Renaud! Ah, oui, oui. J'aime le Renaud. So am I dead, or do I get to live? I assume Power Tool just does everything. Interesting. Are. One gets the trap card. No, we're adding Fire Dance, okay. Why do I lose to, like, the most nonsense stuff ever, man? Wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be me. Okay. This is not bad for 10 hand traps, just saying. Oh, we got Princess, too. What is the ritual you serve, Ohime? At this point, I'm just like letting you play for the sake of the entertainment, because like I know this is just cooked. Feeling all right. Bamberge. All right, so somehow we managed to uh, connect the dots into a full uh, snake eye combo. I mean, this is just everything, right? Now I just lose. Win condition is timeout, maybe. <laughs> Someone time him out, please. Can I get a... Can I get a DDoS real quick? You want to deck bricks in this deck is insane. Uh, a lot of equip cards that are kind of bad, aren't there? Isn't there? Didn't he already fire dance? I swear we already use this. Am I dead as well? Oh, this is like exactly lethal. Lol. Feeling alright. Okay, alright. Well, listen, it's uh, basically game from here. Good job. Well done, Bakanko. I have been distraught. Alright, Lacario. Well done, Makanko player. You have demolished me. <laughs> Alright, and hopefully uh, going first here, you can do something a little bit interesting. You think N54 plays N54? Lionheart has to play 54 cards, otherwise... Uh, considered false advertising, surely. Alright. See what this can get us. Normal Shokan. Okay, this is rough. I've opened like both of my what's it called targets. Don't even want to do anything here, like Jesus. Um Effect? I can't even illegally declare that. That's so bad. Right, so if I activate this, can I play around Ash by not using the grave effect? Not using the deck effect? Activate by target. So, can you Ash dive even if you summon from grave? Because it includes an effect that summons from deck. Maybe I should play around Ash. Does he have Ash? It was a delay, but it wasn't from this from a search. I feel like I should play around it, because if I bring this back, I can just go... Anemone, Recycle, Coral, Triangle, Discard. That's a trap. Equip onto the Coral. should play around it. I'll play around it. 
Okay. Got something cooking back there, my friend. Alright, we're gonna go into Nemini. And so... This field spell isn't once per turn, by the way. When you Link Summon, you can equip... Okay. Might as well just use it in case I get stopped here. Huge beat stick. Huge beat stick. Ah, well, there's the Imperm. There's the Imperm. Alright, well, now we do a little bit of a prayer as we pass on this. It's a shame I drew Dive and Battle Ocean. I play one of. Some people play, like, multiple of the uh, Reborn. Like, two or two copies. I think one and one is fine. Never really felt like I ever wanted more. In fact, I usually hate drawing them. The uh, Reborn is only a good extender if you're already playing the game. Ooh, Labyrinth? That too. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what's the Link 2 effect of this? It makes it unaffected, but Link 3 is to make it usable from the hand. Another Imperm! Well, you are just a bundle of joy today, Lucario. Uh, what is this? Banish this, target a marine set spell. Oh, it's the other effect of Pascal Lost that never comes up. Very well. Alright, we shall summon from our deck an attempt of Blue Tang Clan. Okay. Good thing I played around Ash last turn. Told you. Okay, a uh, bit of a slow one, I see. I think we should win, though. Like, I don't think he's playing through three negates. So how do you get the feet, Ash? You just have to, like, randomly sack it out of the bundle, right? You can't, like, um... You can't craft it. Oh, it's photons! I'm scared. Terrified. Um, should I try and pull it? <laughs> no, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> but I kind of want feet, Ash. I just, I like her feet. Like, I just, I like the artwork. I think it's really cool artwork. I think the artwork is really cool. I kind of, I kind of want it. Like, I kind of want it. I got two in 10 packs. Yeah, maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just do it. I got my place at under 10k. I think I got, I gotta be saving for Unchained, though. I want to be good at Unchained. Fed a cheetah. Uh. Alright, I will uh, Mystic Wave you. How do you know about Unchained? Uh, because it was released uh, like six months ago in the TCG, so one could assume that we're getting Unchained soon. Uh, this is a big, big think, but uh, I have a feeling, you know. Please tell me Anemone adds cards. Uh, it does. Okay, good. Guys, am I gonna die? Shibat Shalom just wanted to I've say, never lost a Photon in Galaxy so much in my 12. life as I am this I am afternoon. Now almost 18. I am getting I'm old. just getting beaten around by Photons. Like, <laughs> consider a pointer to any of your rollback decks. Uh, what is the pointer like? How does it work? Is it does it just not do the reveal or the hand requirement? Hi Gen X, Shabbat Shalom. I started watching when I was twelve, and now I'm almost eighteen. I'm getting old. Uh, yeah. What the hell were you doing watching me when you were twelve? I was uh, I I poisoned the mind. Uh, I started watching far for the end of quarantine. Look at me now. You should you should be in quarantine. Not like a like a viral thing, just like a like a medical sort of like analysis type of quarantine. Just so they can study the brain of Sado. I just, just want to know what's going on up there. Because it's a whole bunch of like uh witch copy pastas and uh French stuff, I guess. Ah 
Why are we- stop spamming follow- Oh no, that- stop it. Stop- oh, the, the children. Nay. Guys, am I dead? Guys, am I dead? <laughs> Chatting? Uh, Maybe I should have imperm that. Honestly, I was looking at the sec at the first effect. And I was like, uh, I'll let him declare it so that he can't overlay. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm just dead, aren't I? That's it, right? Please tell me it's immune to like the monster effects. Double the attack. I'm just dead, though. Why is there so many- Oh, because it's a number, dude. Are you trolling me? God. You've been given a subscription chat. Press, cl press claim to claim. Isn't that crazy? Um... Cypher Blade. Maybe you should just learn this deck. Yeah, apparently I, I'm going to be a, a Photon player soon. Ay caramba. So what, this ranks up into like the other guy and then I die? Can I just live, please? Okay, 64 damage, right? 64, 94, I'm dead! Like, I'm just- How am I not dead? Am I, am I misreading this? The hell is this? Last hope. What the f- Oh my god. Now I'm dead, surely. Ah! Here's some of the money I would have spent on children's cardboard. Uh... I don't know, man. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong today? Uh, Aspo, thank you for the too much. This isn't making me very confident. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm like, I'm not very confident. I feel like this uh, immortal run is gonna go very uh, not immortally. Oh, we beat the uh, coin flip against Lionheart. This is good, chat. Now I don't get to be uh, FTK'd by Dark World. You see? Play another deck. And yeah, just have to be like Snake Eye or something. Oh wow, this is like not a fair hand. See what I can do with it. Okay. Sea Angel. Now the path I'm going to take, will it be... Argonaut or Bubble Reef? Build an Imperm. What are we trying to end on with this? Can I even climb up into a four? I should be able to. Banish special. Anemone, probably. Wait, hang on. Let me see. Banish special. Anemone. Revive. Coral triangle. I think I need the dive, actually. Yeah, I actually need the dive. Unless I'm missing something, but one spring girl is not enough for a combo. Go for this. Anemone. Taking the gamba for the spring girl mill. Uh, that seems terrible. I doesn't seem very good. Alright, make... Ah! Okay, okay. Thankfully, uh, right click lets you cancel your summon. 
Nemini. Add back girl. How soon until the banlist drops? 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 20 minutes for the cope. 20 minutes. It's this week, guys. Trust me. More of a green zone, if you ask me, but this is kind of like the period we're in, unironically. If you're actually wondering. Uh, did I already go through slug? I didn't, right? We back to spamming Twitter past us. It's uh, it's 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 a possibility. It's a possibility, like actual possibility. Plus, we're also waiting for like a master duel ban list as well. That'd be kind of nice. Well, I have a feeling that I'm not going to use this. But I might have potentially misplayed by not setting, uh, by setting the cross out. No, probably not, actually. I think cross out for, like, maxi or something might have been, might be relevant here. Let's go banish this anemone and draw a card, see if we can get another hand trap. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, we'll take a starter, I guess. 32, big chungus unaffected. How do you out this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Why would you banish your follow up? What do you mean follow up? Bubble Reef summons from banished. Six cards, seven cards with extravagance. Triangle effect? Um, well, I mean, it's a toss up between triangle or, uh,. Bubble Reef, so... Uh, that's how it works. Well, that is awkward. It's always the one that the uh, Twitch chat says is the correct one, right? It's like the opposite of what you do. I can get the follow-up of uh, Triangle by keeping the Anemone in the grave, or I can get the Anemone follow-up by banishing it. And then the one that happens, the one that is, is, the, is the one that the Twitch chat doesn't let me... Uh, Okay, so we lose here, right? Yeah, we lose this one. Alright, GG. Burge. Burge. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> Sat and watched me play for 10 minutes and activated two cards and I lost the game. Ah, Royal Robina. This is a pain train, my dude. This is a pain train. Should I try some zoo or something? I don't know. Like, this is, uh... This deck is kind of doing really badly. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, I maybe change up the list? Playing Coral Heart? The uh, unaffected thing? Yeah, I am. You're wrong the way you're doing it. You're ruining both your follow-up lines. Uh, no, there's an argument for both. In that situation, yeah, you're correct. But, uh... In other situations, I think it's fine. It is what it is. All right, well, if I lose this one, I can't complain. I tried to farm my chat. This is what happened. Yeah, but this isn't, like, funny. This is just, like, losing. Like, there's nothing There's nothing entertaining here. All right. Uh, Slug? Ma? You losing is funny, though. And there's only so many ways you can lose for it to be funny. I guess. Sure. Someone dub a American sitcom laugh track over this, please. Can Tang get Tang? Yes, it can. Easy clap. Uh, Alright, let's go see Angel. Get the field spell in this time. We'll go for a Crystal Heart Unaffected. And see how that goes. This over here. Ask for funny decks. We'll do another live table 500 at some point for sure. Wait a minute. Have I messed up here? 
Uh, I haven't messed up, but I need to do this first. Nemoni. Bring this back. Um, let me just double check the text on this thing. While this card is in the EMZ, when this card is it the, this thing? Link summoned using when you test crystal as material. In monsters you control in the extra monster that were link summoned using crystal as a material are unaffected by your opponent's card. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you make the crystal heart. Okay, noted. Um, I kind of want to put the coral triangle in the grave, but by going for this, I didn't have enough extenders to go for the. Uh, uh, coral Triangle. Yo, thank you, Blair. Appreciate you. Because I can't make Coral Triangle and a 4. I have to just pick. Sorry, Coral Triangle and an unaffected 4. So. Unless. No. I think the Towers is better. And we'll get an Argonaut off of it as well. Yeah, Wave is unaffected as well, but, uh... Yeah, no. Multiple unaffected is cool. One, two... I don't want to recycle one of these things. Let's recycle... Uh, Slug. I got enough names in my hand here. Plus, keeping this in the grave is kind of nice. In case we need to get that field spell back. Alright, put you here. Put you here. And stick you here. Alright, go ahead. That is my combo. I have three interrupts through zero hand traps. <laughs> The thing is, like, when you open a hand like this, you want your opponent to hand trap you, because this plays through so much. Ooh, Tiaramint's strongest. Tiaramint's strongest. Discard Snow Send Revolution Synchron. Nice. Normal summon Mare Mare. Could just negate this, but I think he fuses anyway. If I negate this, he can just overlay. So I think I let this resolve and try and choke on the uh, Kit Coloss. Hopefully, there's another way to pop Kit Coloss. Although, I should read this Revolution Synchron. If this card, if you control level 7 or high synchro while this is in your grave, send the top card and then special this. Hmm. Why are you playing this deck? Because it plays 20 hand traps and it's a uh, one card combo engine and it's funny. Do what to the kick loss? Uh, choke point. Card game terminology. Don't make it weird. I'm trying to think if there's like a difference between Wave or Mourner here. Is there a difference, realistically? Called by? If he has called by, I'm going to chain anyway, right? So it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll use this, and if he has call by, we have to use wave anyway, right? So. Oh. Uh. Okay. Our monster is unaffected, which is cool. Would be crazy if you could negate spells and traps with this, uh. Eh? Hey, yo, thank you for the host, Dizzy. <laughs> I'm in danger.
Boys, I think we're gonna have to do some snake eye testing or something instead, because, like, this is, uh... I don't know, it just doesn't felt like it's done a lot. I'll try, like, make some safer plays and see if that helps at all, with, like, respecting Coral. This is just Tiaraman's strongest. What are we using with Shiren here? Oh. L5 first, then Fuse. You bubble. To do some hero testing. Oh, yeah? There's a few decks in Yu-Gi-Oh that have never interested me in uh, playing them, and let me tell you, Hero is one of them. Someone gifted me five subs, by the way, and I forgot to say thank you. I read it, like, m mentally, but I couldn't say it. Blair, that was it. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a great time on Mastu and that the fire deck hazard has been treating you well. Heh. Heh. <laughs> kind of. Try Monadium if Marine says isn't strong enough. Monadium is one of the most frustrating decks to play in Mastu, though. Uh, hello, I want to, uh, show you my friend Maxi. Um, I don't want to be in a situation where I have to, like, Maxi my opponent. Uh, or rather get Maxied by my opponent and then there's, like, no follow-up into Maxi. Because at least if this deck gets Maxied, you have, like, three hand traps to fall back on or something like that, right? Doesn't feel as bad. But with Manadium, like, you don't really play too many defensive cards. How was he outing this Argonaut? He has to out the field spell, then the Argonaut. Raw Sheep. How are you fusing? Maybe he doesn't play Chaos Angel. Two, three, four. Oh, yeah, he's going to Link Summon, isn't he? Uh, you can Special Summon one of your Marine Sets to negate the activated effect. So just negate when he uh, summons here. Okay, yeah, this is going to be, um, this is going to be uh, Goddess to link off my Argonaut. Um, I should be able to survive. Arguably, I should have just used Argonaut to negate this, even though it doesn't do anything, just to get the body up so I don't die. Visa Star Cross. Ramadan to, uh, Kareem, brother. They will ban Snash in oh. Shala. He doesn't have it. Question mark. Daddy doesn't have it. Thank you, Motion. Appreciate it. Uh. All right, let's uh proceed. Can I send from hand? A oh, card you control? That's cringe. Wait, is it? Target a water monster you control. I assume these guys down here are not water monsters. That would be kind of funny, though. Well, let's scream trigger. Nah, that's fine. I'm gonna try and uh, go for a game here. Wait, why can't I negate with Argonaut? Does she not negate continuous spells? When a spell trap or effect is activated. When a spell trap card or effect. Oh, I guess we're not activating an effect. We're using an effect that's face up. Haha, <laughs> children's card game. Oh, is it opponent's turn? Oh, <laughs> I forgot that she's uh, opponent's turn. Oh my god, dude. You know what's really funny when they design cards like this? It's like they do it specifically to like restrict them for no reason. Like what? Sorry, I didn't realize it would be like the worst thing in the world if Argonaut could negate us one spell and trap on either player's turn, you know? Had to be uh, opponent's turn only, right? Like it, it would just be too good. It would just be way too powerful. You know, we, could, we couldn't have that. All right, you are getting way too many pluses here, my friend. Maybe we should have just went battle phase in the end. Um, and Sleepy Joe. 
Unthinkable and negate can be used both turns. No other card is like that. <laughs> when have Konami ever allowed it? I feel like negating this Rhino Heart doesn't do any. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. All face and muscles you currently control are unaffected. Yeah, notice the uh, currently unaffected clause, by the way. Notice the currently unaffected. Whereas, notice how cards like Scream and the um, Field Spell buff monsters even if they are not currently under your control, even if they come into the game later. See these little nuances in, in uh, card text? Just to buff decks for no reason? Or nerf decks for no reason? Upsetting spaghetti. And I hate it. Alright, for anyone who's in the room, by the way, this is probably going to be my last game playing and testing this one, just FYI. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. This deck didn't do anywhere near as well as I thought it would do, unfortunately. Uh, is he just going to spend the field spell, I guess? That's a real slobber knocker here. Like, do we get rid of Kaleido Heart? Do we negate the Kaleido Heart spitting the field spell, making this unaffected? I mean, how much do we care about that? I feel like I might as well. Can Mirror Ancest be played with other water cards? I see people try put some Splash Mages in there. Sorry, not Splash Mages. Uh, Ice Jades. I don't really know if there's a point. I think the deck does enough by itself, and Ice Jades just kind of take away from your defensive card lineup for no reason. Three minutes to the ban list, guys. Three minutes to the ban list. Oh, is he going to try Bookwood Snow? My guys are unaffected, John Jung. Alright, so what are we doing here? We've already normal summoned... Um, this one uh, adds back to the hand, right? Add back to my hand here, so I can return a card to my hand. I think we just like play the game for a little bit and then see what happens. I kind of also want to end on a Kragen, though. I do want to end on a Kragen. It's like, what else can I realistically do? I can banish everything with, like, Slug into Zalantis, maybe. Like, that could be worth it. Maybe that is just worth it. Uh, let's add back Sleepy Joe here. I clicked no on Blue Tang. I hate my myself. All right, he's going to shuffle away with Keldo. Should I buy Snake Eyes cards now? Unironically, like, if you really want to play the deck, why not? Like, the ban list coming up is not going to, like, kill that deck. And people are panic selling already. Which is, like, really funny. Uh, So, you know what? I'm going to just tell you, like, go ahead. Like, doesn't don't seem like that bad of an idea. Alright, so what do we want to do here? We can go Anemone, Revive, go Marble Rock. But I don't have a way to like get an extender for the Zolantis play. We just link this into Zolantis. And activate the effect. But the thing is I need to deal with this Root Coloss, first of all. Let's punch this first. Then go main two. I feel like this is not correct. But it is funny. It is. It is. It's. It's Once funny. Once a month, I scout the web for a feet picks. Today, I found some pretty good one. PLS sub to the funny guy. THX love XOXO Keck. Um. Actually, maybe this is fine here. 
Oh, if I recycle this, I can remake an unaffected monster, which is hilarious. That was an interesting message, by the way. Thank you. I feel redeemed. Um, I'll just add this back. Don't think too hard about this. Zolantis!